everybody. Hi. Uh, I'm Amy Pierce Stone of Her Art from the Attic. This is my brother, Eric Pierce. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Hello. Sorry, this is our second try at the live feed this morning. We just actually did, we just sketched out our girl from the girl in the lavender field that we're sketching, but apparently we had a lot of troubles with sound, so we just decided to start it over. Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. Um, let us fill you in from where we are now. So, we just found the woman, can they see down here? Nate, will you do a shot of the table? Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Okay, so while Nate is figuring out the shot, what you'll notice here is that, oh, now we're on the table. <laughs> okay, so we've got a center line she is right in the center of the photograph. So she, we, we've drawn her right in the center. There's a center line that we've kept through her body so that we can tell where she is. She's actually, what do we say, six heads high? Mm -hmm. So she's six heads tall, which is pretty average for an adolescent. She was 14 at the time, right? Roughly. Yeah. This is Eric's niece. So she comes down, we did a, a line through the middle and then we kind of created her skeleton. So we did her head, and then her shoulders come out. And we're not too worried about her head shape because it's covered with hair, but just do it oval. And then her, her shoulders are about the same size as her head. And they just come down, kind of slouchy a little bit. And then, then we measured her head down here, and her waist comes a little bit below that. And then and it's a little more narrow than her shoulders, so you'll draw a slanted line down, slanted line down. And from her neck to her waist, you're going to measure that much down again, and that will be down to her, the bottom, the top of her legs, shall we say. <laughs> um, and that shoots out, it, it's about the same, it comes out as far as her shoulders here and here. So it's almost like you're mirroring that image. She's got a real hourglass shape, doesn't she? Okay, so then um, I think you do another head size below that, and you've got the bottom of her left knee, um, but her, t her right knee comes shoots up above that a little bit, and there's a line, and we've drawn a line down. If you come up to the edge of her waist, if you were to draw it straight down, that would be the edge of her thigh over here, and draw that down to where the line of her knee would come. It took me a lot of ch tries yeah. to get the proportion. Same here. About three different levels. <laughs> so, yeah. So down from her waist, will you'll find her thigh. It comes down there, and and then um, about what was it? Her head to the bottom of her neck is the same size as her knee to her ankle. So in that, right on that center point, you'll draw from the outside of her knee, that line you just drew, down to the center. So if you see here, here's, here's, we'll put the ruler right in the center. So like kind of imagine her spine right there. And if you see, her, her foot actually crosses over and her, it meets the center line right here. So once you've drawn the line from her knee down to the to the center line, then um, you can come over and draw a circle to represent her heel. What's a super easy way to tell that you're? <laughs> and then um, down from that, you can draw a long rectangle that kind of almost a triangular rectangle. What are those called? That would be her foot. It meets the ball and the ankle line. And then we don't need to really worry, worry about our toys. You could also do an oval down there if you want. Okay, so did we fin No, we drew the line of the thigh on the right, which was a little higher than the line. Actually, I think mine should be a little bit higher than the line on the her left leg facing us. So if you see, this line actually, it doesn't meet her waist like the other one. This actually... If you were to draw a line, find the midpoint between her, the, 
the middle or her spine to her waist, that would be where her thigh should be. So actually my waist comes out to here. Here's the midline. Draw an imaginary line down and there's the side of her thigh. Make that line meet the knee pit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can do a slightly arched line down that comes to the bottom of her shin. And actually my foot, her foot juts out on the other side. And kind of comes to where the, if the top of her heel is on that side. It meets right there. Okay. And her arms. So her elbow should meet up with the same line as her waist right here. And they're going to come out a little ways. There's her elbow, elbow. You can do circles if you want to know where the joints are. And then the widest part of her hips here is where her ankles, oh, mine's a little bit off. Or not her ankles. Mm -hmm. This is why live feeds are tricky for me because so you may as well have kept the whole life feed on yeah. silent because I'm saying the wrong thing. Okay, so her wrists should come to the widest part of her hips here. So you got her wrist, and you can connect those to the elbow line. If I'm saying the wrong thing, just shout at me, Eric. Okay. <laughs> and then just draw a tri triangle from there to the, her dress, and that will tell us where the edge of her hand is. Which I did the right I Well, let's see. So on this side, same thing. Her wrist should be down here more, where her hip, the hip juts out a little. And then triangle out and down. And we'll worry about filling the hands later as we're painting. But we've got the basic proportions laid out, right? I think so. I've, I've changed mine about 10 times. Same. So, so have I. I'm happy to carry on to... All right, go now let's it. go. So let's look at the horizon line that comes to the top of the lavender. Okay, so there's this, you know, the midpoint of the, the horizon line here below the trees is right in the middle of her head, like smack dab in the middle. Not the middle top, not the middle, but right in the middle of her head. So we're going to imagine that there. And... Um, and we're just going to draw lines out, soft lines. This isn't a perfectly straight horizon line. So, you know, if you were if you were drawing streets or cityscapes, using exactly straight lines might be better. And there's some cases where if you're drawing perfectly manicured fields and gardens, you would use straight lines. But because we want these lavenders to look full and round, keep it fairly straight, but just let it jut out a little bit. Yeah, you also know that it goes... It it's a lot lower on this side than it is on that side. The, oh, the yeah. whole landscape actually comes, it's going this up the, cool. up the picture as well. That part is not super, so the biggest proportion we're worried about is her body. Now we can kind of be more free and we'll focus a little bit less on proportions um, because it's easier. But So you see all these beautiful lines where the shadows of the lavenders are. So we drew that point in the middle of her head, right? And this is where all the lines are coming to. That's the perspective line. Okay, so let's start with, we're going to map out where these lines are. So let's start with the trail that she's on between the lavender patches. We'll just, it's going to be covered up by her body, but it kind of comes here and then out. And again, don't worry about perfection. Oh, she's got her suitcase here too. We forgot to draw. Let's draw that really fast. Well, you can draw the line first if you want, but it's going to meet. Just make sure it's all pointed back to this center line. So her suitcase. Find the bottom of her heel. Come out. This is going to come further than her body. But the bottom of it kind of starts at the top of her heel, but out. So let's draw the bottom line where that is. It's actually, sorry, it doesn't, yeah, that part kind of goes straight across. And then there's a slanted line. It, go, it points at her shin right there, it stops, and then it will go straight up and almost come to the top of her dress, and then it, it curves, comes back down, it will have the same, should be the same, it should be parallel to this line right here. So that will be curved, curve that edge right there, and come have that meet this bottom slanted line. So you've got this diamond shape with rounded corners. And then 
um, you've got this line here at the bottom of our suitcase and you should have the same line up here in the corner of this diamond shape and we're basically drawing a cube right now not perfect cube but you know okay a rectangular cube anyway so it rounds up meets this so you've got another rectangle here and then yeah so this line should be parallel with this line the next line should be parallel with this line so and same if you need to measure go for it this is going to be parallel and meet a line that's parallel to this but over here straight so there's a basic sketch of her suitcase and then if you want to add detail you can we're not going to do tons but it's just, there's a line in the middle that comes down and down and then her she's holding it with a ribbon but we get a basic idea of where her suitcase is okay so we've got her path that she's walking on now let's find this line over here again we're not worried about perfection it kind of comes overhead and comes out and then this one let's do this one out here the side of our other head is where it starts side of our other head <laughs> other I'm side of our head, head. <laughs> kind of rounded at the top and comes out. If you look, if you really want to get specific, look at where her sh elbows are. And if you come out, it's down. It's kind of like in the mid middle of her forearm is where that line comes to. So here, here. Whoa, I was way off. Okay, so that's there. And then um, there's actually another line that's kind of right here. So if we want just to draw another slight horizon line right there at the top where it will curve, then yeah. we'll work it there. So let's do another one. Oh, so you, are you, what, what, Sorry. Where are you drawing on the, the that section there? Yeah. So this almost like so you come down horizon. from the horizon line yeah. just to give it that. Just give it a little wave of lavender, which you, you that's kind of... You could still, it could still be really beautiful without that, but um, if that starts to feel a little too complicated, then you can simplify it. But we'll put those in there. Don't worry, don't, don't get, oh, don't no. get perfect. That's, that's <laughs> one of my, um, you working that. on that. What's Sorry. That? Okay. So. So, yeah, I like that because then you can come from that line. Right. And make your other lines. Okay, so this one, and you'll notice that each one, part of the way that you keep this, this perspective is that if you look here, the triangles, I mean, we're looking at triangles here, right? The triangles will get smaller and smaller as you go out until, like if you could see out here, it just look like straight lines if you were doing the whole thing. Yeah. That's one reason you have this vantage point or the, <clears throat> the point where everything comes to. Okay, so the perspective point, what is the point called? My mind is leaving me. Anyway, so let's do this next line up here. Kind of comes in the middle of her arm here. I'll be, so out here. And make that meet this line right here. This one too is going to be our second horizon line. That one kind of comes below her shoulders. Let's just uh, Sorry. Of the canvas. Hey! <laughs> And then the other ones will just be smaller and smaller. That's kind of nice. Hopefully you guys can see this. Looks like she's got a bullet hole in the back. It's kind of more than I <laughs> Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm just going to explain how we're going to get the illusion of, mm -hmm. of the curve here. So you've mm -hmm. got these lines that meet to... Oops, this is not the line I need. So this first line here comes and meets here, and there's just a slight bump. And then you've got this line right here. It comes and meets really close to that, and then you kind of bring it up and arch it over. So up and over, up and over. And you're going to do that to everyone. So it comes out here and then goes up and over. And they kind of get more diagonal. That might be too. So then, actually, up here, you can't see where all of them are coming from. So it's kind of more of a, and then they'll fade out, get smaller and smaller as they go. So 
So we've got this. Mm -hmm. My line is way. Sorry. Where's your hand? Okay, that's right. Comes here. Second one, you can't really see where that line on the second one. So this one arches up a bit there. Connects and arches. Connects, slants and arches. Connects. And each one of these gets closer and closer together. And then slants. As it gets closer, it looks more slanted. But we'll worry about that more in our painting. Just to get a rough sketch. There we go. Gotcha. And then up here, we're not going to worry about it too much, but there's all your trees. Okay, so we've got our basic sketch of the woman. Here you go, by the way. I've got one, thank you. Oh. The woman walking the lavender field. See you next time. <laughs> <coughs> I think I make that joy joke every time and it's never <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's funny to us. So if anyone was here in the beginning, we appreciate you sticking around. All right. <clears throat> so um, let's, we're going to paint her very last. So let's actually start with the background here. Are you still working on that? Yeah, I'll just... Um, so one thing is that these are too parallel because if you see they're big here and then it, they kind of straighten out by the end. So they should actually look more like oh, this. More, I see. But let's not worry about that because okay. we're going to paint over that just as long as you know where... Yeah, that, I can get that on this side anyway. Kind of yeah. See, they, they're almost straight jutted out over there. It's pretty interesting. Mm. Because actually, all of these points, I mean, now there's actually another, you can imagine another line where they connect. So where are they all, they're all coming up here this time. So they'd be, they should be parallel to so pointing at that. Okay, so let's begin mm -hmm. by painting down this background color. So there's a really nice creamy color. Um, okay. I recycled some egg cartons. Nice one. And <laughs> we're going to use those. So to get this first creamy color. Put my brushes over here. Sorry, am I poking in? Nope. All right, I'm looking for a fur. I'm looking for some white. Now I might make a few stylistic choices here that are different, but that will help the painting be congruent. So we're going to squirt a little here. Now this this color in the background will actually come be the the highlights in a lot of our other you can just use the same. Much. Nope, that's fine. Actually, do a little more because we're going to be using this color a lot. Um, it's in her dress. It's go going. We're going to use it as the highlight of many of the things that we're drawing. Not in excess, but when one thing when you're painting that I found helps um, a painting look or all the colors look harmonious is to try to use as many colors in the same or in the different same color in the different subject matter. So we've I got see. we've got girls. We've got lavender girl lavender. <laughs> trees, background, suitcase. We're going to try to incorporate as many colors into, of the same colors into each one of those as we can. Okay. So like the same underlying tone. Right. So we're actually going to put the tiniest bit of, I mean, tiny, tiny. Did you say what color it is? So that is just titanium white. And then we're going to put a tiny, tiny bit of red. I mean, tiny, tiny. And a tiny bit of blue. And this will give us... I'm going to watch you do it first. Yes, watch me do it. In case, that, in case somebody missed it, I <laughs> have never really painted, so I'm actually really excited to learn from Amy to watch her paint, because I've always wanted to know how she does it. Actually, do it with me. <laughs> I will tell you how much. So, this is easiest to do with a palette, knife, or even like a... We're actually even like a um, popsicle stick. Mm -hmm. Just... Get a teeny bit, maybe a little more. No, that's way too much. We don't want this. 
we don't want people looking at our painting to think, oh, that's, that's a purple background. We want them to think it's almost white or ivory. So sorry, I got too much. That's a good amount. Okay, that's still too much. Sorry, red will... Is that okay, that one? Okay, that's so now much. dip it. No, that's good. Now dip it in that white and mix it up. So you can grab one of your paper towels. Oops, Oops. you're welcome. Can you see that? I'm gonna catch up the mayonnaise to make fun of Yes! <laughs> so in Utah, we have like, almost like one of our state foods is called fry sauce and it's where you mix mayo and ketchup to and that's fry sauce yeah pretty much <laughs> you put a little a hint of mustard and a hint of barbecue sauce it's even better most people think that sounds disgusting but it's basically like taking the sauces from your hamburger and making one sauce but it's amazing when you mix it together how different okay <laughs> so blue we're gonna do the same thing try, try to take about the same amount of blue on just the tip. Wipe the red off first and then you're gonna mix that. About the same amount? Yep. Okay, so that's going to be our background color. Isn't that pretty? Mm. It's not too far off, but it's just subtle. It's just this very subtle, delicate color that will help marry all of our colors just together. To mine. Pretty similar. It's not bad if they're not the same. Okay, so let's grab. Oh, here. So now grab your your medium dry brush. It's this one. And did I take yours? Uh, I keep maybe. taking your stuff. How rude. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> okay. I, oh, sorry. You wiped it off, which is good. I'm just going to get that paint because I oh. like being wasteful. But, you know, if you do, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's how I roll. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, now we are going to paint everything above our horizon, our top horizon line focusing more on the very top where the sky is. Sorry. This is as complicated as it's going to get here. Let's push it under a little bit. Let's push it under your stool so that you can get the center. Oops. Ah. Okay. So working with acrylics, we're going to work qu quickly, especially with the background, we're gonna keep it pretty thin. So, drag that down a little bit into where the trees are. We're not super worried right now. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, no, so I don't only need to do is really worry about where the, yeah, I guess I was probably doing too much where there's not really even. You don't need to worry about it. It's just, honestly, if you have the same amount in the entire sky, it's okay. I'm just not going to be too picky about like where I know my trees are going to be. I'm not going to be too picky about making sure it's a solid consistency of paint the whole way through. Okay, so we've got the sky. This is very subtle pink, basically. All right, now. You can see, imagine how that will be a nice highlight, maybe a little bit more purpley, but for the yeah. lavender. Okay, so now let's actually, this one's in my we're going to use the same color. And if you kind of do it sideways, maybe push your bristles along mm -hmm. the side so they get a little more straight. Then let's just paint a layer around her feet on that first path. You, you could use a 
different easier brush if you want but since we've already got it on our dry brush and we're not too worried about detail right now that's where we're going to paint it or that's what I'm painting it with so this one like a really thin layer yeah about the same as the top of the sky this one tried to do make it a little bit more consistent where you can't see the canvas in the background so you want me to make it then thicker to hide the canvas marks a little bit but there's going to be just remember there are there's going to be multiple layers as we go so don't fuss too much <clears throat> also be a nice color in her a few tiny little highlights in her legs but I mean tiny tiny bit her legs are such a similar the tones of color in her legs are super similar to the lavender it's pretty cool hmm. okay so we've got that painted right yep. well, you can't really see any more of the path so we won't worry about that right now all right so let's put that aside for a sec well stick our brush in there. Some people really hate that idea. Just seeing um, how well you smooth the lines out or not. I'm not super worried about that because we're going to add a little more detail later. I think I'm used to, I've, for about five years I worked as a, in England we call it a painter and decorator. We uh -huh. remodel houses and we had to be very, very careful not to leave any lines or marks. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'll have to remember well, to let this, it yeah, it's be a bit thicker. <laughs> be thicker. Don't worry. Don't fuss too much. Um, there's so much texture in here. Once we get to her skin and her dress and her, the suitcase, even those lines will be a little bit smooth, more smooth, but um, we don't need to worry so much right now. Okay. I mean, it, you don't want to see paint lines necessarily, or paint brush lines right now necessarily, but we're not fussed because this is the basic layer. So we're not going to do anything more over the sky, so if you want to check your brush lines there, that's totally cool. But let's not fuss too much. Over okay. the sky we're not going to? Might just make it a little bit thicker. Correct a mundo. Just a little bit thicker at the okay. top for me. <laughs> All right. Now, we are going to... Um, we're going to take some burnt umber. We're going to be doing the darker parts of our green up here right now. And some of the darker parts in here. And I'm actually going to mix um, raw umber, which is a dark brown color. Okay, get just about that same amount. A dollop. Mm. <laughs> yep, looks good. And then... We're going to add a little bit of red and a little bit of blue again. But this time, maybe a little bit more. So, a plop. A, a little plop. A plop to the dollop? As small as a plop as you can get. But, like, not bordering to the dollop side. Right. Just more of a plop. <laughs> between between a, doll, a dip and a dollop. <laughs> you, want, you want a plop between a dip and a dollop. I'm going to create my <laughs> own painting textbook. <laughs> it just makes me mad because you just stole it. I was about to put the dip in there as well. I <laughs> took it right out from my sails. Okay, so go ahead. Did We're you loud. get your... I'm just going to hit mute right now so because this is getting a little out of hand, you know? <laughs> <laughs> do, so. we, do we owe now trademark um, payment to, like, sour cream companies that use the word dollop? We always have to be worried. Stop. Stop. <laughs> dollop is not a trademark term. Okay, so what were the two measurements? We've got a dollop and a plop, right? We call it a dillop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just okay. carry, carry on. <laughs> we're going to try to do the same amount of red. So this is just a light squeeze. We called that our, pl our plop into the dollop. I'm calling it a dillop. Okay, so... Same as the red? Yep. If you can see here... Oh yeah, it doesn't focus up there. So it's almost like you've got half as much blue and half as much red as you do the burnt umber. So, I'm going to mix that so what's up. What's the blue called exactly? The what? The blue. Can you repeat that? 
That is just an ultramarine blue. Ultra, ultra, ultramarine. So we've got burnt umber and ultramarine. Yep. And so you're making a burnt sierra? This is what Manette, Manette says. Is that what you said? Manette is one of the people who has stuck with us. Thank you. Through the two streams this morning. So thank <laughs> you very much, Manette. Um, I've got the burnt, or I've got the uh, raw umber and I've added purple and red to it which I'm going to be doing to a lot of the colors to help the colors, the purple, be harmonized with everything. But what, what, what name of color did you say? <laughs> she, she asked if it's Burnt Sierra. Burnt Sierra. I'm the, are, you, are you talking Burnt Sienna? Burnt Sienna, maybe. Here is... Oh, no, that's raw. Yeah, it could be. It's kind of close. Did, some, did we just lose a camera? Did lose something? We just lost the camera. That's okay. Right, have you mixed that up? I like mm -hmm. that color. I think it's really pretty. And so let's take, actually, um, our smaller bristly brush like this. So we're done with that color? For now. Well, we're going to use it now. All right. But we're done mixing it. We're done mixing it. Okay. I'm, I'm wanting the purple tones in a lot of the colors to keep them harmonious. So now... We're going to be stippling the trees on. And right now... So we have this one? Nope. It's a bristly one. Do you have it? You can use that one or this one. Use this one right here. Okay. Um, or you can also use... Well, it's in the water right now, but... Right. I have another gotcha. One. Okay. One. So we don't want it to be too solid because we're going to be dabbing... Keeping the bristles kind of separated so where's you can do this on your on your palette or your paper towel but kind of separate them a little bit and make sure that you don't just have a, a super solid amount of paint because we want the lights to show the, through the background so we're just going to stipple the pattern of the trees and um, you don't have to worry too much about perfection. Sorry. Okay. Here, let's put this one up for our reference. <laughs> oh, where's the blue? Here. If there's anything I've learned, always put the lid on. So actually, let's start from the bottom because our the colors it will be. Uh, more solid on the bottom. So try not to come over the horizon line. But uh, now, if you are not going to be waiting until your paint is dry, then I do not recommend starting with dark first. But I'm actually going to go through the whole painting and we're going to put, use this same color to mark where um, our deepest, darkest colors are. And by that time, most of them will be dry. So we'll start adding the lighter colors on top of them. And uh, <clears throat> they will... I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna throw something out there. Okay. So when I took this picture, I actually had the idea, but I never did complete or carry it through, of um, changing this background. Um, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. I'm going to... I'm actually going to... I shouldn't have put that dark there, really. I want... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the trees uh -huh. and actually create my own tree line. It's more... I guess creative. Okay. And it's going to... That's fine. It's going to we... come down so that it sort of makes the center point here and it's going to bring the... the inviting lines, is what they're called in photography, where it invites the viewer's eyes into the picture, and it's going to, to add more lines Visual. coming in okay. towards the middle there. In I'm going to take in, your lead. In an indirect, an indirect, I'm not going to make it a solid line, I'm going to make it sort of, you know. You still want it to look organic. Line. Exactly, but I want to just create another element of... Interest, of drawing your interest, visual yeah. interest. Yeah. Okay, so just make sure that the, the line closest to the horizon is pretty densely painted and then as you stipple upward, 
keep it lighter and make sure that your background color is showing through nicely. I need to um, listen to you more because I keep thinking, oh, you're talking to the camera, but actually I don't know what I'm doing and you're talking to me. <laughs> I need to listen more. I'm talking to everybody. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to follow your lead on what you're saying. I won't do exactly what you do probably. Mm -hmm. But one thing I want to make sure of as I'm doing that is that it doesn't look like there's a hump above her head in the tree like that it's more organic. Cuz her This is where this is where it gets real. So one way you can change the shape of your trees is by twisting your brush, because you don't want it to look like, I mean, just like in photography, if you're looking at a horizon of trees, it's not going to be like bump, bump, bump perfectly. Mm -hmm. Or if you're stippling and going up and down, if you simply twist your brush, then you won't get the exact same pattern from your bristles. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Does make sense. Because you don't want it to look like, oh, did they just take a like a sponge or something? And go over and over. So twist and dab. And the lighter you push, the less paint will come off. Gotcha. I also think that I'm going to make my trees a slightly less filling. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. So Filled it's like, it. it's like, I'm going to do more of this kind of thing rather than the thick filling areas. I'm going to, I would, I'm going to put a little bit more of the sparse leafage, leafage oh, foliage yeah. in there. Okay. Anyway, that's While well, you're own. filling that in, I'm going to come down here on the sides of our path line down here. Okay. And I'm actually going to just, actually that is too much. Wipe off my brush and I'm going to drag slightly some of that color, that dark color from the edge toward the center, just slightly like that. on both sides. Okay, oof, I dropped my brush. We'll kind of I don't want the same consistency. It's going to be darker, almost vignetted, kind of, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it'll be darker down here. It's kind of blending in with my paint, which I don't, the background paint, so maybe I'll wait a little longer. But I actually do want to see the brush lines here because that's going to give me the effect of the straw that we're looking at. Once okay. again, make sure that it's not, I'm going to wait a little bit because it's blending too much with my background color, and I want those to be very separate colors. This will help give us the illusion of the grass a little bit or whatever that is under there. Okay, <clears throat> so can I finish that? Let's see. Oh, I was too busy watching you. Okay, now I'm going to pull you say you're not going to do that anymore? Should I wait and do that for mine? Or should I you can wait if it's still if it's still wet. Actually, wait, because we're going to use... I should have waited too. That's okay. Now, let's grab... We could do this with... Remember my... Do you remember what this is called? Um... Filbert. <laughs> if you want to say it funny. I don't remember. Filbert. Phil. And you Phil puff your cheeks with air. Filbert. We're going to puff it on the... You can. Okay, so let's put in some more of our darker areas on the painting. So I'm just dipping one on, focusing on one side of the brush, but mainly the tip. Mm -hmm. Now I, we're going to do these dark, we're going to fill in the dark spots right here. And I want to keep it off of this. this. No, sorry, with the filbert. You just oh, stick, sorry, stick I didn't that mean, in I didn't the mean actually meant the, um, the paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My filbert. Yep. Yeah. And then 
you're going to touch the tip along the edge to keep mm -hmm. it crisp, but then the flat part, as it's tilted, will touch behind it and kind of help it fill in some of those spaces and fade a little bit. Because like you're, you're bringing that gradient around that bush, basically. Uh -huh. Uh, that row of lavender. Okay. Right. Do you have a feeling for about how long paintings like this will take? Do I have a feeling? Yeah. I know it's kind of hard to tell because you never know how things go. Well, when you're explaining just... it, it can take long. I would say that we're going to get done here in a f in three hours. Wow. Cool. Now, and then you could go back. I could easily spend days and days on this. I think. But to keep it simple... So stick with us, everybody. This is going to be yes. a long, long days and days stream. You could all... <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll do another tutorial where I put more detail on it. That could be fun. Okay, so do that to every line. Now, every horizon line there. Or not horizon line, but line between here. And you can kind of fade it, if you can, up into the canvas above it. I know there's no color besides the white of the canvas to fill it in, to fade it into. But you could still try that somewhat. And actually, when you get up here, well, never mind. Do the same thing on these so they can. I'm not getting too, we don't want these to be focused. You know how you've, you've taken this picture and these are out of focus? Mm -hmm. So we're not too worried about crisp lines up there. We're just worried about okay. the illusion of line, or the, the um, what would you call it? Do you want? Ah. Uh, <laughs> are you picking something? No. no, this is just, this camera doesn't like to do this job. Okay, so do it again, but flip your brush on the other side to do it. Same thing. I like when they're kind of symmetrical, because when you can say what you've done to one side, do to the other. It just takes away a little bit of the complication. Like this time it was battery. Usually somebody says, hey, the battery's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe somebody did and I wasn't paying attention. Hey, don't worry though, I ordered a part, <laughs> so the battery will not ever die again. Yes, we got after an adapter Monday. so we can plug it in next time. Very excited and not about use that part. The, just the plain battery. I'm almost, to help add to the out of focus of, um, where's my cream? of the, this line right here. I'm going to wipe my brush off and I'm going to just rub it slightly across like that. Okay. And I'm going to take that same and kind of maybe fade my that brown color up a little bit more. So is it the fading that makes it have the that nice three-dimensional aspect that you've got going on there? Mm -hmm. What three-dimensional aspect? The, your rows, they look... Oh, you start to shade them, yeah. They start to, they'll start to look three-dimensional, yep. Cool. Okay, so um, now I'm going to, remember how we talked about the... You can carry on this thing. I'm trying to think what, I, what route I want to go. I'm going to leave the path for now. Although maybe I'll take my the same filbert and just put a little bit more. I'll I'll define the edge of that, which will be covered up by the lavender, and then I'll just pull slightly into the path. Because I don't want to see defined lines right here. I don't want to see definitive lines. I just want illusions of lines. Okay, so now I am going to 
look at that. I love watching that. I kind of missed it. I love watching when you wash off your first brush in the jar of water and you see it just cloud around, all the color cloud into the water. Okay, so. Manette says she really loves your uh, tree line, Eric. It is pretty. Thank you. Who? Manette. Manette. Manette Pew. Thank you. Okay, so I cleaned off my brush. I'm straightening out. That's good to know. I was a little nervous. Okay, so now I'm going to take actually. Which one do I want to use? Do I have a. I thought I had a bigger rounded tip brush. Did I put it in yours? Like this. This is the one I want. Is there another one of these in yours? This one? Which one for? Oh, this. I used mine. Oh. There. No, that's not the one. That's okay. I've got more down here. Okay, so I'm going to get my rounded, a little bit bigger of a rounded pointed brush. Or Okay. So here's one you can use. So how many, how many people do we have watching us right now, Nathan? Who's out there? We've got eight of them. We've got Nicole and Manette, and Sharon is with us. Hi, and everybody. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to scroll through and see who we've got. Um, I'm not really sure how to say this. General Axes Axes? I think that's probably not a real name. <laughs> or maybe it is. I'm sorry if it is. I just don't know how to say it. And Pret Locks. He's another one who has been with us through two streams today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, seriously, for sticking for around. Real. Continue. Feel free to talk to us and let us know they're back. Because there will be moments when we're doing repetitive things where it's harder to talk and entertain. Yeah. So if you guys could entertain us. If you're doing it this at home, let us know. And Okay, so I'm going to put in some other um, darker areas on the painting with where? the same yeah. color. I'm going to start in her hair right now. So I'm coming at the top. Now I want to remember where her hairline is. It's the same color as what we use in the tree, but I'm going to try to make that smoother for that reason. So I'm actually, right now, I am actually, I'm going to fill in her whole hair, all of her hair right now. So on her head, it will be quite... Is that for me? Yep. It's going to be quite um, solid of a color. And then we'll add the details later. Once it starts in, so here we're using the base of our brush and once we want to start getting little detail of her hair, mm -hmm. so say we come down here and then we're going to lift out to where we're just using the tip at the end. Okay. Does that make sense? Taper it off. Yep. Taper it. So you're pressing pretty hard up here and then taper off, taper off. Okay. And don't worry, actually, yeah. Don't worry too much. Don't let's not fill in her hair, the details of her hair. In fact, let's just fill in the the darkest parts here, because we want to be able to more easily paint the dress around her when the time comes. Actually, I'm thinking that we should fill in this color into her dress. Which color? The same one that we used in the background. Oh, some of the light into the So side. if you haven't done this part yet, why don't you figure out where her hairline is and draw, paint white around that. Okay. This part would actually be better to do that way. So I, I'm going to wait for mine to dry. So I'll finish doing my hair and then I'll paint her dress in. But you start with her dress. So just anywhere her dress is, oh, fill dress it in. first. Yeah, fill it in with that first color we mixed, the same color as the background. And then later on, we will put more detail in her hair. But for now, just get the silhouette, basically, of her hair. Hair, her hair will be another place where we can take certain liberties. Yeah. 
but I love I love how full and wavy and curly. I like that there's she's different textures. Hair. She's got like waves and curl, but it all it's wild, but it's beautiful. Like it's it works so well. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Maybe it's because I like it. I like organic wild things. Like when I think about flower gardens, my favorite flower gardens are the ones that. They're tamed, but they look wild. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Absolutely. So, same with trees. And so I think that's why I appreciate her hair, because it reminds me of the type of gardens I like. Like, it's very purposeful in its, in its composition and style. But you feel like you're, you're looking at something that's real and natural and not, like, too manicured or whatever you want to say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's where I'm going to start with her hair. And then again, I'm going to put more detail in later. So I've just done her dress. Did you just do her leg? Oh, no. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> those, those were her legs. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You're so clever. There, there brother bear. <laughs> Want to take a break for five minutes? <laughs> okay, so why don't you start on her hair? Don't do the... Don't do it and... Don't put it on the back of her. Oh, you didn't leave it where her hair is. That's oh, okay. is that what I didn't catch you? That's that. okay. Um, just wait till it dries in and then go. Okay. But I can fill her hair in where fill it's Fill her not. hair in and go over. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah. I also, you know, if you're, right now we do need to think about our paintbrush lines. So, you know, Laying don't go this way if you, yeah. So they don't have to be precise, but the actual, the paintbrush keep it lines will off. help with the illusion. So like up here, it's a little more straight and then it gets wavy, a little curly. Okay. So you can kind of push some of those lines in and a lot of this will be covered up by the end, but with the hair, every little bit of that will help look, help it look like hair by the end. Okay. So now I'm actually going to put some highlights down or not highlights, some of the dark values in her legs with the same same thing so I'm going to start on using the same brush coming over to her the thigh on her left side the left side of the center line and that's going to be pretty dark actually so so question yeah maybe you already because you know I get distracted by the comments and stuff maybe you already said so but um are you planning on it being what kind of colors are you planning on doing for the whole? Are you doing it more? It seems like this is dark, dark stuff compared to what's on the photograph. It is really, it's dark. Right? We're starting with the darker tones and then we're going to, it's going to become brighter and brighter as time goes on. Okay. So you kind of so, start with underlay, underneath layers. That's what I'm something. doing this time. Um, that, that's because I want those dark colors to look super rich. And I feel like with the way we're going to pattern or layer colors over um, with how much texture that is I feel like it's going to be better to start with the dark instead of the light although I most times using acrylics I'll start with the light instead of the dark but why, why is that um, because it's easier to keep the vibrancy of the colors in my mind okay um, however because I know how much we're going to be layering I know that you're not even going to see any brown lines by the end. It's going to look deep and purple, uh, but this will just help give a, a drastic variation of depth, but um, make it so that it's easier to layer the colors. Because when you've got, like if you look in the lavenders here, um, you, your darkest colors are on the very bottom, and we work our way up, and then the very vibrant colors are on top. But, so we're going to start with the deeper, darker colors on the bottom and then build up light just like the lavender is there. Yeah. So. Good, good. Thank you for that. I don't know if that made sense. But, okay, so let's start with her. I'm going to kind of outline her leg over here, put that line in the back of her knee. And I don't want it to be a stark line. It's kind of faded, though, faded into the white of the canvas a little bit. And that will help me. Actually, I'm going to move to my smaller pointed brush for that, for this part. So we've got 
same basic brush but smaller here. I'm going to put some of that detail down here in her legs. It's, it kind of outlines it, especially on the outside here. So you're just it's darker. Just edging it. I'm edging it. I don't want it to. It, it's okay if it's a line, but kind of like you faded these lines mm -hmm. over here into the canvas. Yeah. Fade those also just slightly. And we're, we're fading it so that when we add the other colors, we're going to be doing some really nice tones in the skin. And the more we leave, or when we fade it in, it makes it easier to fade the other colors into it later to okay. make those colors come together. Okay, so the darker part over here is on, uh, we're going to do some dark over here on this side of her leg, bring it down to her ankle. That's, I need to make that a lot more straight. Which one? Okay. On yours? Yeah. So, do you have a smaller one? Oh, are you still... See, I keep thinking these oh, are the I legs. <laughs> Stop using that one. Um, I, I found it a little bit easier, although yours is smaller than my original one. Well, let's try that out. You can make it work either way, but because we don't want this to be super brown, yeah, we just want a little bit. So, we're going to line this leg on the left side fading just a little bit and let's bring that that color a little bit more out up here it's pretty bright there's right under her skirt we'll put some shadow and just slightly though so all the darkest shadowy areas is where you're putting it yeah but on this yeah exactly so would you put some in her knee pit i sure would yes yep anywhere where you see so, again, um, there's going to be colors going, we're going to be layering the brighter colors after. So if it gets a little too dark, don't worry too much. We can try to make things compensate later for the, if you overdid it. Okay. But we're not getting super detailed with the skin either. It's really quite dark over here. And down here, I need to make it darker on this leg over here. Oops, I've got some white in there. This is fun. I don't do many, I don't do people very often. For the same reason lots of people don't do people, and that's because it's yeah. so easy to just get one little thing off and it'd be like, it like <laughs> But this is a good challenge. And it's a good, it's a good place to start because we don't have to focus on the face right now. Um, which, if we're going to do a, a face painting tutorial, then we should start with just the face and not an entire landscape scene I think but this will just help us think about proportions and and color and and give us an idea of some possibilities Okay, so I'm I'm getting some really deep dark tones at the base of her foot, which actually end up being a little bit more red, but we'll worry about that later. And then her ankle's got some shadows right there. Any chance you could pull up the screen here so I can get a better perspective? I found it. Um, here I can tip it. Yeah, pull up the other. You know, like when you step away from something, yeah, it looks a lot. The you can you can get a better gauge of. That's what I was doing. I edit my successful. photos because so I have to. You have to get in really close, but the same uh, you know, in the same picture when you're editing it, you have to also look from really far away just to see if everything is driving. Yeah. 
So we will pretend we're stepping away and look when we look at the screen. Okay, so there's her foot on the other side. I'm not gonna worry too much about that because it'll kind of disappear into the background. So just filling in more places where her I see shadow. There's some on the side of her foot right there. <laughs> what? Well, I thought I could get away with muting it. Oh. Um, but I didn't. Busted. Well, there you go. I know uh, that sounds interesting. I'm excited but, to learn what that um, is. I learned about um, it. Hey. What? Sorry. Don't just. Um. <laughs> no, they're just saying that. Um, I could never get away with that because you don't stop talking. So as soon as the sound went away, you know I needed it. Okay, I'll stop talking. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a lot that I don't know. And I will tell you that I don't know if I don't know because there have been a few times, I'll admit, that I pretended to know. And then afterward, whether it was right or wrong, what? Okay. Well, anyway. Okay. Whether I'm right or wrong when I'm answering questions, like, that I'm just, think, I only feel comf- I only feel that I have integrity if I answer questions that I know for sure I know the answer to. But. Well, you're amazing anyway. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I mean, what you really should be doing is going out there and lying about everything all the time. Yep. <laughs> and what even better is just make stuff up. So if somebody asks you something you don't know. Just make something up. I mean, do they know? <laughs> Obviously they don't. They're asking you, right? Yeah, but then I, like, lose sleep at night. Come on. <laughs> but, you know. All right. So I put some um, deeper tones. I'm going to... I'm only going to put a couple of these tones in her arms because I really like how we get the glow of the sun on her upper arms and then the, the shade and color of the lavender on her legs. So we're going to be really careful because there's not a whole lot of dark tones on here, but I'll put just a little tiny bit to help um, help the colors harmonize a little bit. I think I'll put a teeny bit on her elbow right there. Just a teeny bit. Maybe some where her dress meets her arm and that I want it to be pushing into her arm, not the dress. Oh, I should have painted the dress first. I'm going to paint the dress now. If you'll wash off your filbert brush, that one I don't want sticking in the water. Okay. Because, um, okay. Filbert. Yeah. There you go. The bristly brushes, I don't really care if they stay in the water. Mm -hmm. Because... I like them to be bristly, and but I don't want my nice smooth brushes to have be bristly. Okay. Okay. So if you just clean them off and don't leave them in the water, that helps. Gotcha. Okay. So now I I'm going to do what Eric did to the dress, and I'm going to fill it in with the same color that we put in the sky and on the path under her. Now here I want to make sure that my um, that I don't lose. Actually, that I do lose my pencil lines. So as many layers as it takes to lose my pencil lines is what I'll do. But you don't want to leave it, leave it super thick. Um, if you want the paint to be thick, then do a, then do a, achieve the thickness in layers instead of doing like a big glob of okay. thick paint. So I still, have, I still have pencil on, so I should put another layer on? Yeah, put another layer on. So you can tell them where, while you're doing this, tell them where they can find more of your Stuff. I know we said it on the live feed before, but that didn't work out so well. So. Yeah, that didn't work out best for everybody. Um, well, you can... My website is ericpiercephotography.com. Um, at the minute, it's very, very portrait, uh, family-oriented portrait. Right, uh, 
oriented around family portraiture and weddings, but um, there are some landscapes on there. But the, uh, probably the best place to find my stuff is on Facebook, which is where I just tend to post most of my most recent portfolios. And so, yeah, just type in Eric Pierce photography. I'll also Sorry. put a link to his stuff. I don't know. Did I already put it in there? It's on Facebook, I know. I'm not sure if I put it on the YouTube link yet, but I will put it on after we are done here. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. You got it, partner. Okay, so on her dress, I really want don't want thick paint lines, personally, because her dress is pretty smooth. Now, we've got some of these tones also in her legs, so I'm going to put some highlights right now with the tip of that brush. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit into her legs, so we've got some. Some of the highlight areas? Yeah, let's find those highlights and just brush them on there. There's so on the side of her leg there. I'm not worried about blending right now. There's some on her back of her sh um, calf. Comes down a little bit. Teeny bit on that side, not much on that leg. Okay. Let's put some more in her thigh up there. A little tiny bit on the edge of her thigh. Some more like there. I'm going to put some at the bottom of her foot. There's some highlights on her, her heel. Oops. I'll need to go and right, so let's see. So kind of like the time. top, her heel right there coming into her ankle. There's some nice highlights. And then on the side there. Again, we're not worried about worrying about blending these colors right now. We don't want tons of this paint over there. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, I've lost it. Can I see the perspective right now? Or the screen? There you go. Looking pretty good right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, let's take, um, We'll come back to her skin tones later as we're using them in other areas. But if we're using a color here, we may as well. But you haven't put any highlights in her arms, have you? No. Okay. Um, there's different color highlights in her arms. Yeah. So I am not putting those in. Because, yeah. These are going to be a warmer color of highlights in her arms so that we get the the idea of the sun glowing, which was one, is one of the most beautiful parts of the painting, I think. Right. Okay, so let's wash off these brushes. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay down um, we're going to lay down some green in these places right here. Okay. So I'm gonna try and put some I'll just put some in the corner of that just for the hey ho. Okay, so let's mix up some green right now. Okay. I want to get some... Do we need to have a paintbrush wash run? Pretty good. What do we have in there? Okay, so I showed everybody this in the last video, but let me show you. So I um, got the tier... There's a lot of apps where you can draw and paint and color, like even very basic apps. And when you're choosing a color to use, there's a little picture of a teardropper. And if you click on that, it will give you a little target and you can pull it along your picture and it will tell you what exact color is where that is what you're what get <laughs> what exact color you're looking at so um, I went and did that to all the different places that I was going because I thought it would be a really interesting way to figure out the color as Eric was explaining some stuff about editing photography I thought that would actually I can use some of these same things and figure out colors and stuff using the same apps and this, yeah anyway so I've got the hues here you can do the same thing right now we're going to focus on if you see sorry this darker color here I tried to get right here it's like this dark almost purple brown so now we're going to do some green here. So I'm going to we're going to try to get this deep olive green right there. Okay. 
Now, we want to keep this really soft. So let's start with... Do you, you want, want to tell them what the app is called that you're using now? Um, that app that I used was the... Let's see. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's, it's the Autodesk sketchbook. So here, let me show you exactly. I'll do it on my tablet so you can see. I'll t I'll, ah, come on. Hold on. All right. So while I'm doing this, will you get, we need a uh, blue and yellow and let's do let's do a dollop of both in our next one. Actually bring it over here just so it doesn't go over. Going okay. all the way to a dollop on this one. Huh? We're gonna dollop. Do two dollops. Oh boy. That's like wallop. <laughs> like <laughs> the two dollops that comes a wallop? <laughs> okay. So I've got the original photo and then I can choose where I want to open it. If it and I've got a few different editing apps, but um I'm going to go to the Autodesk sketchbook and if you see here it tells you you can choose a color and right there is a little teardropper and it pointed it right into her hair and you can see that round spot right there is brown. If I move this around it will t give me the different hues if you see that. So I'm getting some deep dark purples and some lighter purples and really light lavender colors and down here I've got these greens. Up here, there's greens and reds and browns. Her hair, there's browns and and creams. And her arms over here, there's oranges and yellows. Her dresses. So you just go all over. And then like so on this app. So let's say we choose this orange color, and then I lift off my finger and it just goes there, and lets me choose like a. Uh, an instrument to use. And I'm using this pen and I made it pretty, the tip pretty big. It lets me choose which tip. And so then I'm just going to put down a dot right there to, let me use my stylus so that I'm not covering it up. So I've put down a dot on the right on the photo and then let's say I want to find the other colors of her skin. So I see there's a lighter orange. So I'm going to put that there just to remind me the colors I'm finding. Let's try to find the absolute lightest color. There's a lighter color. So we've got those. So you see these three colors and then and then I go here just get some white really thin circle it and point so I know later okay this is the color in her arm. So that's how I got those hues. So it's, it's kind of an art hack I think. I think pretty it's cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah, because it can be really hard to figure out what the colors are because when colors are together, they, when colors are put side by side and together like they are everywhere, it can kind of change the color you think you're perceiving. But this app just allows you to zoom in or a lot of the apps and find out exactly what colors you're using. So, and I was talking the last time about how um, at last week's, live uh, Friday Night Hangout, we painted a, um, we painted like a sunburst over some water with some leaves in the front and it turned out really cool but the colors were very different and I stayed in bed at night thinking, oh I totally, I used one wrong color and that was blue. I should have used for the water and the sky, I should have used lavender actually and it would have made the whole painting different and actually look more like the photo, which is what I loved. Mm -hmm. So I like edited it and figured out like, yeah, that actually did look a lot different. So anyway, you find the exact color. I thought this time, let's find the exact colors first so that I can make sure that I'm, I'm using better colors. Okay. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm just texting Leanne in England. All right. Cause kids are going to bed. I thought they, oh, they night, might want to tune in for a minute. Yes. Okay. So I'm doing a plop or a dollop or whatever you want to call it, a blue. We're going to make a deep, um, actually, you know what? Scratch that. Scratch the blue. We'll leave it there for now, but let's Maybe take yellow. some yellow. What kind of a brush do you use to scratch your... <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to, there's some yellow. You get some yellow in there. 
And then I'm actually going to take some black. It's a good amount of it. Yes, good amount. Same part black for now to yellow. Yucko, yucko, right? What is happening? Why am I combining yellow and black? Whoa, 50-50. 50-50 is great. And then let's... Press black, please. Oh, yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting you exist. <laughs> All right. Where did it go? So <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix... So. <laughs> um, yellow and black can actually give you, surprisingly enough, an olive green color. Once you put... Once you... Um, what? What? I don't know if I was going to make an inappropriate joke. Probably. It's you. Well, I, I was. I guess the question more was, I didn't know if I should make an inappropriate <laughs> joke. So I didn't. Look at that. Don't want to offend anyone's Isn't ears. that amazing? To me, that does not Hold make on sense. Hold a second. I just mixed what? yellow and black to get olive green. I guess it brings out ah. what... They've used to make the black? Yeah. Let me show you right here. Okay, so here's just a white piece of cardboard. I just... Get a new paper. Is that cad yellow medium? Um, this... It's cad... Yes, it is medium hue. Okay. Good eye. So, this is the color... Oh, yeah, we're I'm down impressed. There. Let me show you. So there's our olive green right there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a beautiful, it's a nice warm color. So it's not like too, too vibrant green. So that's actually a really nice color for these trees back here, if you see. Yeah. And for the very base layer of the green we see here. So, <laughs> that's just equal parts, more or less, of green to black. It gives you an olive green. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit more so black into mine. Did I miss... I know you were showing the app and everything. Did I miss when you said what it was? What she was did say what, what the app yeah, is called. Yeah, did. But really, that little teardrop instrument is in almost any app, drawing or note-taking or anything, where you can choose a color. What was that one called? I forgot already. What, what was it called, Eric? Oh, I don't sorry! Know. I just barely discovered that app. It's a really fun drawing and painting app. Autodesk, Autodesk sketchbook. That's what the little like symbol a, looks an, like. An it orange thumbnail with a pencil on it. Yeah, and it gives you. Uh, it's really fun to play around with. I'm actually going to do a review later. I decided of different apps for sketching. Okay, so now we're actually going to put quite a bit of green in our painting right now. So I'm going to start with the rose of lavender. Our base, we've got this dark purple color and now I want those all to fade. What you doing? Sorry, I keep doubting my color. I'm just going to add a little bit more black, I think. Okay. It just seems too bright to me at the minute Sounds good. for base color of gray. I'm dehydrated. Okay, so let's take some of this olive green and I need my paper towel ready. Um, now, actually, let me get a new paper towel. So, and a new, I'm just, sorry, sorry, everyone. I'm gonna get my paper towel a little bit wet, actually, to help me thin down the colors, but I don't want them, I don't want it too wet, so I don't wanna dunk my paintbrush in the actual water. Um, Cause I, you, what? I like this egg carton idea, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I love it. You can get the different compartments. And this one is even like a little palette itself right here. Mm. Okay. So and I, a paintbrush holder. Yeah. I don't want to, super thick paint. I'm almost using my paper towel right now as a palette, but I like, I'm letting the water come into my paint just a teeny bit. Okay. So do I, so what, I'm using this one? Yep. So we're using our flat brush right now and we're going to pull these colors into the brown, the, that purpley brown that we laid down, if you mm -hmm. see here. Now work quickly so that you don't get, oh, that's pretty. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. I'm so nervous. Like. 
<laughs> um, tell me, uh, sorry, what do you need? What were you going to do with the wet paper towel? Tell me what that was. So get it a little bit wet with another brush or something. Um, we're going to, you basically are using it. With. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you don't want it too saturated. When you're thinning down acrylic paint, you, you don't want to use very much water at all or else your paint won't, won't hold up. It starts changing the molecular biology of it. So you can see that naturally as I just paint a layer over the brown and then up to the next line, because we faded each brown into the white of the canvas, it naturally faded up. Mm. But again, how you got to keep this really thin. So do so that every time. You're filling in the entire empty space. Right. Right. All the way up to the horizon line, the trees. So there, uh, I'm just kind of scrubbing this. it too. I think I could, I think I could, um, I think you are. I think I have been. <laughs> we know what each other are thinking. So you probably want us to finish our thoughts and our sentences. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Get it? See what I did there? I did. <laughs> so this uh, is one reason <laughs> that I have shied away from doing live streams. Is because I'll have some really good thoughts in my head and I'll get them halfway out Then I'll get distracted or like pulled into my painting and I will just stop mid-sentence or say the wrong thing Like when I was talking about her hand, but pointing at her elbow pit <laughs> Anyway So oh, that's so pretty like you could even just have green fields This is another thing I should have done last week is just combined green and black instead. Anyway, mm. shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm going to do another tutorial with different colors for that, actually. Because I love it, and I feel like I I really liked the way that turned out, but I want to do one that stays a little more true to the photo. Anyway, so I'm scrubbing. Acrylic dries really fast, especially the thinner your paint is. And since we're using really thin paint right now, work with speed. Otherwise, you get some of the unwanted lines. Now, now you can start deciding, like when you create your, um, your lavender, rose of lavender, do you want maybe just big bulges of smooth color, each row to be really smooth, or do you want that texture? We're gonna get the texture at the end, but you could keep it really smooth and have a beautiful painting also just not quite as representational. One of the things I just love about art, and it actually translates to photography, these, this day and age with the digital abil you know, ability to create digitally, the fact that you can just take a concept, and like with the tree line, you can actually just use that concept as a template, but also as a springboard. So, you know, it's just kind of, you just, carry on with it but when you think oh, I actually would like it I wish it would have you know I wish the hill would have been a bit more raised over there that would have been awesome you can actually just do that so yeah what that's worth that's him. Uh -huh. oh yeah I guess I should paint these ones too huh <laughs> but oh I love it already I almost could like just end this painting look at it like seriously it would kind of be a pre pretty painting just as it is mm. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I would, you know. <laughs> okay. At least. Here I especially want to. Finish my hair first? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So here I would go especially fast because. Wait, where, where are you? Um, in the bigger area down here of okay. this huge. Because we don't want the lines of the definitive lines of the brush. Although, like, again, this will be a lot covered with texture. But um, ah, careful not to go over her skin. You get kind of slow right there. But Oh, thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Wonderful me. Gotta be useful for something. So do we have Eric's kids tuning in right now? I don't know. And Leanne? I, I, I texted them, but uh, there it's, 
It's right at bedtime, so the likelihood is that the phone's sitting on the side somewhere while the kids are brushing <laughs> their teeth and Leanne's putting Florence in bed. Or something like that. So I've got, yeah, three kids. Yeah, All tell them about her. You. Seven. Amelia is seven, Hugo is three, and Florence is one. And I thought, oh, I should have told them I was doing this with Amy beforehand. They could have tuned in. It's okay, but we I can didn't. watch it later. Okay. I think it's time. I think it's time, Amy, for me to go for my big rows. Okay. Speed. <sighs> precision. <sighs> Especially when you get to the arm. Be really careful not to... I mean, not not to go over. If you do, it's okay. You can fix it, but it'll just be more complicated. I've already put my base hair bits down. It's okay. Just go over them. We kind of just wanted to, to know where they were. Okay, work with speed. We do it again. Work with speed. So tell me again why the speed because this dries out very quickly. Because because we're going so thin, it dries quickly, and we don't want there to be like a solid uh, brush, especially with the flat. We don't want that flat line to show in our painting. Mm. So. You could use a bigger filbert too, but it's all right. Okay. You can get a little thicker as you get to the path. See this right here? Mm -hmm. That's what I don't want. So yeah. if you just work with speed, and also one thing that can help um, you not get like that those lines like that is to start at the edge and taper off too yeah. so sorry excuse all me all right I just have to keep remembering that you forget that I'm here <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to have to, you know, work on making a bigger impression on me and stuff. <laughs> just kidding, you're my hero. <laughs> ah, what happened? I went over her arm. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know, you just blew it, but it's okay. Just kidding. No, she we'll fix need it. that one. She's got two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Really, when it dries, just paint white over it so it matches the canvas. And then... The only thing is when you got it'll it's 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 really fine you'll just have to paint a few layers probably because yeah. you want it to stay really smooth but when well, you're I'll painting white off, over a darker color I'll rub off the thickness of it right now okay well, that's a good idea you can scrub it off too with a brush and water or uh, well you don't want it to okay, well, I'll just paint it in a minute okay so. oh but I did that in the middle of a brush stroke over here what am I thinking <laughs> 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 obviously I'm not thinking Okay, I'm going to kind of bring the green over into the path just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. I think every video has at least a little snippet of our kids fighting. <laughs> Well, that's real life, to be fair. Same time. Although sometimes they're not singing, like, there's been a few times lately where I think well, the, a kid is in some serious trouble, like they're hurt, and then I go in there, and they're just singing. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed the cat? <laughs> Mom, oh, so pretty. I knew that. I love it. I just want to make sure you have a glass of water if you need it. <laughs> I was just joking. So beautiful.
I really want to believe that yellow and black black can't make this beautiful of a green. Like my brain is not is it's a little bit Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's why bumblebees. <laughs> Should I keep going? Yeah. <laughs> Just love it out in the door so much. <laughs> The yellow and the black actually blends together in their eyes, so they just yeah. see olive green. It's getting a little too thin. I thought I might just try and thin this top bit out so there's a bit more depth on the bottom shadowing area. Nice. But, no, too long too late. Are you like me where you think something, when you're editing a picture or something in your mind, it, it'll, it'll be just a quick project and that's then what it I ends did. up taking like That's what I did the video last night. Forever. I created the video and it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to because I didn't start it out in a simple way. So I didn't end in a simple way. But I think what I like about thing about that that I like a <laughs> <laughs> what I like about that even though like it might be seen as like a negative sometimes it is because you just don't get things on a tiny manner maybe or it takes longer but I think at the same time it's because you sort of really think about things quite deeply that's when you really start to get the creativity and the, the yeah. detail into your artwork. So right. I actually feel like, although it's a weakness of mine, it's also quite a big strength. Whatever makes you feel better. It does. <laughs> Just right. kidding. Right. Tell my uh, so one thing about this canvas is I got, it came in a pack of canvases and it's got this little bit of a dent from the other, the smaller canvas that was on top of it. And so when I'm trying to do a smooth line, it's creating a line from the dent. So to correct that, I'm just lifting my canvas up and kind of pushing it up with my finger to make that and then brushing over it and the line will kind of disappear. So do you have, like, see your, is that line right there? Going across, but it's not bad. Where? From the dent, yours had a canvas on, on top of it too. Do you not mean? stack canvases. I don't know why. Yeah, don't stack your canvases on top of each other. You stack them like leaning up against the wall or whatever. Okay, so we've got a good base layer. How's yours? Mine's good. I mean, there's a couple little marks, but it's kind of, I think, I'll actually be covering up with the lavender anyway. Right. So. Okay, so let's, for now, wash this off. Now, did you take it into the... What? Oh. I took it a teeny bit over here, actually. There's like some, a little bit of green in there. Yeah, a little bit. I meant to actually... Good eye. Anything you see like that that I'm missing, please speak up. That's quite cool. This is, yeah, this is honestly the same the same techniques and eye that you need for t photography, you need for painting. So hmm. you just tell me what you see that I'm missing. Man, that says that, it, that when your canvas sags, you yeah. can spray the back with water and oh, blow dry. Really? Thank you. That's pretty handy. Yeah. So there's so, so, so much that I don't know. And I do a lot of experimenting and learning and researching. I'm a self-taught artist. I say that, but that feels like untrue because I've actually gained a lot of knowledge from other people, like other YouTubers or lots of books or, you know, even watching Bob Ross growing up or my art teacher, I mean, in elementary school, the ones who taught me to color a flower or whatever, like all these people. So to say that I'm self-taught is not really fair. So I really, I should say, I've never had a formal art education. Um, Believe right? also says you can put wooden keys in the back. <laughs> what is that? Oh, like the little... Is that what those are? The I wedges. Never knew. It restructures the canvas. <laughs> that come with the canvases. Is the le <laughs> I always just throw those out. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably keep they my mouth shut. Because over time, canvases will droop, and they will get that little... Slacking. Thank you. You got me right when I was... Hey. <laughs> oh, there goes my banana. I kind of love it right now, seriously. I think it's so pretty. It but is. we're going to carry on. You're not the only one. Really? 
Yeah, we've had some comments. This is it's looking beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Nice. Okay, so let's. It is cool. Like it, it's. I think when you look at it, the computer screen, you yeah. actually think, oh, I see. Yeah. Cool. I think our delay is. That's it. Less today. Is it so less? Deep. Okay, so now let's put some green up in our trees. The same green. So find that mediumish dry brush from the beginning. Let's just do that. Did you wash those out? Nope. Yours should still be in there. No. I mean, what did you do with your other brush? Oh yeah, I did wash it out. Yeah. Did I, did I take it out? I meant to. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's not a dry brush. Sorry, buddy. That's it's a doofus. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what it is. Filbert. All right. Okay. It's not a filbert. The filbert is the rounded one. Okay. It's a, just a flat tip. Okay. So now let's dab some... Um, oh, it's drying out. All right. So we really... Take your paper towel and rub it because we only want and kind of separate, try to separate your bristles. And then we're going to add some more depth and try to bring it up. Maybe leave some of the darker. You see how like some of the darker is in between some of the trees over here? Mm -hmm. So don't cover, don't do like a layer over the whole thing. In fact, maybe start by doing some round spots where you've left a little, and then that will tell you where you can go from there. But okay. just make sure you're leaving depth from the other color. This will help you leave that really illusion of the trees. Of real wild natural trees. And I think I need more. I want more of this color to show than that dark brown and purpley brown underneath. So just keep that in mind. So you're gonna make it quite the more prominent. Yes. So that that but I do want becomes little, more of just shadowing. Right. This. And I do want some of those to peek through. Some of them may actually even this green is looking darker than that brown, so maybe I'll even go and add a little bit more brown after. So it's quite dark in some of those spots. But okay. just do it sparsely around because you want it. To, we want to think there's still light coming through and. Yeah, well, that's that's actually why I didn't really try and get some of those spots of the light because I like it to look like the art is light coming through. Gotta look up there. Okay. Because I don't want Green. it to look uniform. I also want it to look kind of random. But it's kind of coming doing this bump thing around above her head, which I think is distracting. So I'm gonna bring that up a little bit, so it's, I think it'll be less distracting there. How's that looking? Are you glazing on the color? Not sure what, what we mean there. I'm, I am stippling it into the trees right now. So you can still bring some of the color up to the top. What color? Of this color. Oh yeah. But I think it gets, what I'm gonna do that may be even a little bit different than what we're looking at is, it's gonna be really deep and dark <coughs> down here and then come up brighter. That's the liberty, one of the liberties I'm gonna take. What do you mean? So like, this is pretty, this is a pretty even hue of colors. Like it's all pretty bright. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got a lot more shadows over here, but so basically, this depth you see over here, I'm going to almost just rotate it so it's deep here and then comes up light. Yeah, okay. Not drastically or dramatically, but so I want a little bit more round shapes at the top of my trees, some of them. Maybe I'll use. Do you have this one still? Uh, oh, that's what you're using. That's what yeah. I'm going to use right now. So I'm using a flat edge one that would just silly. Seriously? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so I'm actually going to yeah. leave a little bit more of my paint on now because look at how pretty that is with 
So I'm like, oh, you see, you're already doing this. You don't need me. I need well, you. Well, I guess technically, I just don't, I've never really, I don't really wield a, a physical paintbrush, but it'll, you, yeah. with some of the really heavy editing that I do, it's the same. I actually just paint it digitally. It, so. Yeah, it's honestly the same. Like, the only difference is this is a physical thing where you have to feel what you're doing yeah. physically instead of, but the same principles and techniques, so many of them apply yeah. editing pictures to painting. I mean, the way that I look at the, the darks that we've put on is that the pictures aren't dark. So everything that we have there, I would actually cover up, except for, like you said, leave a few of those really dark areas because it really adds some nice, you know, r almost more, makes it more real. Because something isn't uniform in nature. Very rarely is it so uniform. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. Deep. Deep is Drugs <coughs> for that and then dab it past. I'm actually, makes me want to pull up a picture that I did. Where? Painting or? on the computer, but is I had to create a tree line just like this, but on the computer. Oh, you did? Yeah. Cool. Really interesting. <sighs> My tooth. This one's got a lot thicker than I ever intended it to get. It's okay. That's all right. Make it purposeful. Okay, I'm oh, going to yeah. add some of my brown back to some, well, or make it a little deeper. Ah, that's a little too brown. Oh, well. Just in a few spots here and there. some yellow in it, which is what we're going to do next, but pretty. It's not mixed all the way. Okay. I'm just going to make some a little bit thicker paint. You know, big dabs here and there. Again, I don't want the focus to be on the trees, so I'm not going to texture it too much. Ah! It's okay, it's okay. starting to look like I'm just gonna push like at it. <coughs> was it starting to look at you Well mine was there we go. I think that's better. It was just I was kind of like making cliffs. It's hard when you're doing circular patterns or even jab just what we talked about for make to make it not look like a pattern because your tree's not gonna be a pattern. Yeah. So your mind wants so bad to put order in things, so. Yeah, so. Sorry. So you just right. put some heavy globs up there, didn't you? I think that yeah, but good. not, you still want them textured. Yeah, you want them textured, but what I mean is it's like, it, um, it just seems like just to get some heavier spots. Right. That's good. And why don't we just, while we're doing the treat, let's just finish them right now. Where's the yellow? Do you have the yellow? Yeah, I do. Let's take a little bit of yellow. And we're going to add some the highlighted part of the tree. So, and if you see saw, I put some of the dark back, <laughs> which you can see in, better in the computer than this. Gets kind of tricky because there's some light glaring on it. <laughs> but okay, so I'm gonna mix. Actually, I got way too much yellow. Do you want to pull some of mine here? Put it there. And then mix it with some green of the olive green. So we just want this nice kind of um, How much line. lighter? Medium? It needs to be lighter or? than that. Let's do it quite lighter. Oh, that's white. I don't want white. Go away. 
resist the urge to always just brighten things with white. Sometimes it's really effective, but you don't have the yellow over there? Oh, it's right here. Okay, let me put a little more. I think I did have the right amount at the beginning. But it's but so different without the purples in it. Isn't it? Doesn't it? Which one is it? This one. <laughs> I sound more like him. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to mix that again. I want it quite bright. But I don't want it to look yellow. I want it to look green. So, so more green than yellow. Yeah. Just add some of those. Again, very randomly. I'm going to focus mine, like I said, at the top. So there will be some. Let me see you. Put your brush next to mine. Oh, yours is brighter. I like that. Why don't we tr share so we can put a few more hues in? Okay. So. So I'll st start with yours and then we'll maybe trade a little. So does so it matter Eric's if you start lighter brighter. or darker? Well, um, it can. Like, I think from my experience, it's 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 really good to choose. Are you gonna start each thing in your painting yeah. darker to light or lighter to dark? I'm gonna choose light dark or dark to light. That's what I'm already doing. Done I'm dark. doing this. I'm gonna start yeah. with yours. Do you have any there? <laughs> I don't think you have any. Well, we only need a tiny bit. Okay, so we're, tell me what to do I here. Know. So just adding some highlights. I'm going to keep mine toward the top. So they will be heavier at the top. But le but I'm actually, yeah, I'll have a little bit more of this lighter paint at the top, and then it, I'll taper it off as it goes down. Okay. This is where I'm differing a little from the photo also. But I'm, I just want it to help my photo bring not that good focus for you? in. <laughs> What's wrong with my photo? Just try harder next time, Eric, you know? <laughs> okay, I'll tell Brogan that you don't think she's pretty. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay. So, you gotta be careful not to... Oh, I need to bring some up right above her hair because I kind of... I don't want it to trace her headline. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty, pretty. Okay, now I'm going to steal some of yours. Eric just had some that was a little brighter. I'm careful that it doesn't look like polka dots. So I want my the tops of my, again, this is going to be my brightest part. Yeah, seems like With still a few speckles colors. down, but not much. And remember that your colors will dry darker than when they are on your paper. Okay. okay. So, before the green dries, I can see why it's beneficial to have it at a a good angle to yourself. Yeah. Normally. Or <laughs> not pointed straight at It looks at completely different standing up here. Yeah. I'm mean, not completely, but to an extent. Okay, I'm going to call my trees done. Now I am going to take, you know what, let's just, let's not worry about the green underneath too much. I'm going to take, I'm going to, ah, I keep doing, I think, keep thinking this is yellow because of the yellow strip. <laughs> okay, so. We've got the yellow here, and I'm going to just take some more bright olive green, mix up a little more. I'm going to do quite a bit, actually. And now I'm going to do, we're going to do the detail of the stems underneath. Okay. I'll so. get that you going. I'm going to finish my trees. Okay, you finish those. And I'm then I'm probably on. mixing enough for both of us right now, so. Did you just um, give up on your trees? I mean, <laughs> no, I finished. Get out of here. <laughs> it's called knowing when to stop. I'm just kidding. Uh, that is not my strong suit. Okay, <laughs> so. Oh. Ah, why am I using the brush? Well. I don't like using the brush to mix. <laughs> but my mind got confused. Okay. So. So I've got a pretty bright green there. Our colors look that much different, I don't think. 
Okay. So, we're going to get our fan brush right now. And you might want to watch this part. Okay. So, I'm loading it onto my fan brush. Mm. But we want the benefit of the, f the, um, ah, this is just, okay. So, get another paper towel. And I want to separate. Mm -hmm. So you're separating the bristles? Yep. And I want, I want them to be quite pointy. We're going to be using this for the majority of the rest, the lavender. So okay. I'm loading it, separating the bristles. Which actually, if you get, if you have fan brushes that end up getting all ratty, keep them. Because then they naturally do this on their own. This one's brand new. Okay, that's a good idea. So, um, cause if, yeah, a fan brush can be good for other things too. So I've got it pretty well separated and loaded. And now, um, we're really just going to focus up here. Which color are you using this one? The really bright green. That you just mixed. Ah, I'm kind of nervous. Hang on. I'm going to oh. test it. It's okay. You can do it. So you'll push it down and then lift off. But we want to be careful not to get like... Hold on. Not to make it look square at the bottom. So just lightly. You just need a little bit. So mm -hmm. okay. Here we go. Start, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. So, and we're going to kind of get more full over here and more, and over there. But for now. You're making eyelashes? Yeah, you like them? Mm-hmm. And kind of. And they're going to point outward toward the... They're going to point toward the center, kind of. Do you understand what I just said? Um, so basically, like, this way. Some of them will be straight up, but they kind of... Just look at the pattern of the... Or which way they're facing. Yeah. Water this down just a little bit. I'm just going to watch it for a second. Do <laughs> you want to test it on here first? Yeah. Get the rhythm on your brush. Feel the rhythm. Yeah, when you're dealing with something that takes such delicate or precise or careful you're brush strokes... Right. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> don't don't time. feel like you can't right. test it first. <laughs> Fail on mine. What do you do if your fan, if your fan brush gets clumpy? Wash it out. You mean with paint? Mm hmm Rub it, like, rub the paint off on the... You know what? I'm almost thinking that it'll... I'm going to try something really fast. Where's my really tiny... I know... That's what I was thinking. This would be... It would be a I'll lot more tedious. Line because I was thinking it would be better with a little tiny brush. Will you have... Where's... You've got a plate. Do I have a plate? You had a plate. I think it fell. Let me get you something. That's okay. Uh, yeah, yes, please, actually. There's pl Thanks. So let's just do a bunch of really quick um, lines with our tiny liner brush. You've got yours right there. Mine's right here. I think I want a bigger one. So, a longer one. Now, be careful that your tiny liner brush doesn't get too loaded or else you'll lose the ability to keep your lines small. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of that here? paint. So grab your pot. I'm going to use my plate instead of the paper towel right now. Grab some of the brighter green. And... Um, I don't know. See, now it's separated like I want it. <laughs> That's it's, nice. Because it's dried out. Is it because I... Paint on there. 
Okay, so if you want, you can do it with a fan brush, or you can take your tiny, this isn't even the best, ah, liner brush, and just do quick wisps. Yeah, I think that's going to work better for me. <laughs> they won't be as tiny necessarily, but, well, this is kind of a thicker liner brush. I think they have like a texture brush that has lots of little tiny individually separated. They do, yeah. I, th you can get way better brushes for this specific thing than the fan brush that I have. Like they already have the points separated, like you said. Oh, here we go. Um, I think I'm getting the rhythm. Keep them really light and delicate because those are just so tiny. So what was it? What was not quite working with the fan brush? Um, it wasn't separating to my liking, and so it was creating these like thick lines on the bottom um, mm -hmm. that I don't want. But it was fine for the tapering off, but... Earlier you were saying maybe an older, rattier one would work better. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, or you can get a nicer, expensive one, that, or just a nicer one that has the already separated pointy... So, from the center line... Mm -hmm. You actually, they'll start to bend the other way. Okay. So they'll come, sort of come the other way, I think. So it looks like. You can even probably get your... Do this with a dry brush, too, and with the ratty tips, actually. Okay. But we're not going to, we're not going to focus too much time on this. Because we kind of just want... The, them to show a little bit more in the front. So we'll put a little detail in here and here, and then we'll just put a little color back there, but not necessarily. Sorry, I missed that. What did you say? We're not going to focus throughout the whole thing. Oh, well, yeah. But okay. just this okay, part right here and over here. And then we'll add some of this color to give some highlight under there. Okay, so try to follow the pattern, Mike, of, yeah, of the lavender. So I kind of pointed out there, I'm pointing toward her in the center. It's hard to get it to be not thick, but also bright. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like you try to keep it not pressing hard. Yeah, actually, uh, even the smaller liner. Do we, is there a smaller liner brush in there? Oh, it's the smallest I have. Anyway, I'll just continue on. This is not. Veil. Yes. Most of it's going to be covered up anyhow. Yeah. One of the reasons I'm putting this detail in is because I like the way that it is so in focus in the front and then fades to the back and I want to be able to kind of show that in the painting. So if we just add a little, a few more details up in the front of the painting. You mind just moving your neck really Sorry. quick? I can't see. <clears throat> Thank you. You don't really get too much on the sides, do you? No, that's going to have a lot of purple. In fact, I think mine... Anyway, we'll work on that later. As you can see, it's actually, when it's drying, it's getting quite dark down here. Mm. So maybe we should, in a second, add another layer of Add a little bit more butter. yellow. But again, let's not focus too much attention here. 
we say as we continue <laughs> to put all the effort in. more obscure detail if you that's the tiniest one you can have nope, it. I've got I've got I probably got even tinier than that. Oh that was you amazing. Didn't. Especially as you get further up because they're gonna be closer together and thinner. Oh yeah. uh, that is better. There we go. There we go. CB says, oh, beautiful go painting, up. Amy. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, she says, Eric, yours is terrible. <laughs> Just kidding. She didn't say that. That was so messed up. <laughs> I was just feeling confident about my tiny strokes. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I have a small brush, actually, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll put the lighter color in. Yeah. I was thinking this is, I kind of got the, the dark shades anyway, and I would like to make like more focus on the lighter shades, so. Yes. I'm going to go to the other side. This, and you can go faster, actually, when you have the right brush. I'm drawing like a road line up mine. She says yours is beautiful too, Eric. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> That's so special. If I draw a road line up my middle, I can then oh, go yeah. down from either way. You don't want it to go too far up though, like, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, okay. I think. You see, it will get brighter and brighter and brighter. But I love it when it's to the point where you're like, even if I ended right now, I would still love it. Yeah. Because there, there can be some really awkward points in the painting process. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Feels like this is one of those moments when you should break into like a life lesson. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know how your life is going to turn out. It feels very awkward right now. This is, I, I, I have said it, but it's like the teenage years. <laughs> it's the teenage years, yeah. The teenage eight of the painting. Put tons of yellow in it now. Yeah. So is that a, is that a brand, the Tunza? Uh huh. Tunza. Yeah. I like it almost as much as Heapsa. <laughs> oh man, Heapsa though, that is so vibrant. Isn't it? I mean, just like the color lasts. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tunza just doesn't have it as much. I'm getting some chocolate milk. Looks like. Okay. Drink it. All right, now I'm going for the brighter. 
More delicate. Nice. I actually might put a tiny, tiny bit of blue in there. Oh, why do I keep doing that? The blue? Yeah, because I, mm. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of warmth in it. I didn't realize Mark from um, MWB Arts was here, and he's actually taking off. He says, Look, looking great, Eric and Amy, gotta go, we'll check Aww, it out. Nice like. to have you. All right, thanks. Welcome to use it if you want. Thanks. Already oh, mixed no. up. What's that? Because we're not going to need much of it. We're just going to do hints. You can even put some of it in your trees if you want, but. brush to keep it keep its shape when after I load it oh I see that's good oh that's to what I needed take the, take that's what I needed I was like I just I didn't have that kind of I was just trying to figure out how to get it to keep that shape so I'm glad you said that because that makes a big difference yeah if I had some longer really thin liner brushes it would be best but you gotta work with what you got Again, let's not spend too much time. We haven't even painted her yet. Although, she will probably be a lot more simple to paint than some of these. I think she would, actually. She's like, a lot of, sh well, I mean, there's more of them, sure, but it seems like mostly just shading. But I'm getting a lot of details. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I, I feel like I shouldn't give up on my fan brush just yet. Never give up on your fans. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Look how nice that is. Who are we kidding? We can do this. <laughs> what if you what if you kinda angled it a little bit so that you were going on a like this instead of like this? Like a swipe? No, like so so if you come I know I'm not a painter, but I'm just imagining in my head what it would do. Yeah. So one of the one of the struggles right now with using a fan brush on this is that you know you're doing all the different layers, and so where one stroke might look really nice, then you you're doing starting the next layer on top of it, and it's blending. If you don't do just the right brush stroke, you know kind of blend the colors underneath, or rob you of your shape a little bit. That's what I'm trying to. Avoid. Cindy Chamber says you're doing a beautiful job. Oh, that's nice. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Cindy. What if I just use half of my fan brush instead that's of trying? That's what I was trying to. Oh, you were. Say, okay. But if you do kind of like a a rolling thing with an angle of the on the so brush. Who votes Nate does this with me next time? Me. Like, seriously. Um, you know, I'm okay just being the peanut gallery, you know? I can just <laughs> make comments and judgments without having to actually substantiate anything. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep! Now I'm kind of, like, just using the edges a little bit. You live on the edge, Amy. <laughs> yes. Beep, 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 It's actually probably the nicest. Look. Ah, you did it! <gasps> What's that? Look. You can do really crisp lines like that. Oh. Well, you bumped me on that one, but that little crisp one. <laughs> I think if I ever look at this painting more, <laughs> one stroke. 
We'll just have Eric sign his name by that part. Yeah. So a little, <laughs> little EP on there. Okay, I actually, I'm going to, yeah, go back to my fan brush a little more. And the nice thing is, here, so this part we kind of do want to utilize the fan brush if you watch right now. Um, it will help us as we fade into the edges. So we're not worried about getting lines right now, but we're worried about bringing, or we're focused on bringing a little bit of the color into the sides. So we use that, especially down here. As Cindy says you and Tommy were really cute together, and she hasn't finished watching that. Oh, the, the last painting you did. Thanks. And Cindy says she loves the differences between the two paintings. It is cool. Pretty. Because you're starting with the same thing, but you come up with something completely different. Mm. I mean, not completely different, but different enough that it's a different style, a different feel. It's really cool. Yeah. Thanks. So one thing about our brush strokes here in the beginning is, you know, I was talking about making them smooth, but it may have been a better idea to keep, at least down here, um, brush outward toward toward the middle so that... Say that again? So in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, it may have been better to put the brush strokes right here toward the middle since the... Oh, this is oh I see. That's all. These long ones. Yeah. I got gotcha. Okay. Oh, I think I'm kind of... Yeah, let's not get hung up here because <laughs> we're actually going to be covering this up so much. But yeah. it'll be nice to have a little... You, I haven't even gotten over there. But okay. I'm just going to get into a rhythm here and then add a few things over there quickly. You are so much. <laughs> So I've been debating, because I was going to do all the lavender with the fan brush, which could still work. Like if you kind of wiggle it like this, like look, pretend that's purple. But Where? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, how about I talk about that when we're actually doing it? And I'll just think to myself before I confuse everybody. Get a little too loaded. We're at the next stage. Whenever you are, I'm just gonna keep painting until. Okay. Let me just fill in some of the dark areas. A bit of fanage. said something really nice. She says that um, <clears throat> your blog about being a lovable, loving, humble mother touched her heart and she and you're an amazing mother and she's absolutely right. You are absolutely amazing. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. That's really, uh, my blog? I don't know if there's... Or my, my video? I think it's your video. My it's collaboration? Kind of vlog. Oh, vlog. You said vlog. Well, I see. But, well it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That is really sweet. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't taking like a compliment for something that was not mine. Yeah, I'm not sure first. if you saw your video with Emma yesterday or. Yeah. Oh. Um, so what? What is it that or you saw? I was thinking probably the the video when you did the the collaboration drawings with the kids. Yeah, that. Oh. And you had your. That's nice. Added Thank stuff you. about parenting there. It was really cool. And, yeah. Yeah. Thank you right. so much. That's been a big blob on mine. Where? I'm just making sure that's covered with that's lots okay. of lavender in that area. Yes. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take the same color 
and brighten up these mounds a little bit with the green. We're not going to put the detail in it like we've been putting. So I just want to put this. To brighten up the mounds? What do you mean? So. Is that what I'm already doing right now? There? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you skipped ahead. What? Like this? I'm like, come on, Amy. I'm sorry. I just needed a little more brightening over here. It's okay. And they're not super thin lines, but that's okay. We don't need it. You already took the picture, the photograph. We don't need a photograph. We need a painting. Um, Eric, for those who are just joining us, is it ericpiercephotography.com? It is. Where they could go see more of your stuff. People are just asking who belongs to those other hands. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it won't focus. focus. It doesn't. It, yeah. Uh, we'll put it, we, we will put a link in the description. Also, if you go to my Facebook page right now, um, I when I announced, I put the announcement photo for this, and it has a link to his site. Okay, so now I'm going to brighten up. I'm just going to drag in. I'm going to thin down the paint a teeny bit and I'm going to drag it on along the this edge over here. The brighter edge? Yeah. Okay. So I'm using the tip to... It's a lot brighter on that edge. Now, after I put the the paint down, I'm going to drag my brush through it so that it keeps up the textured consistency at least a little bit. Yeah. It really helps add to the illusion of it. Okay. Medina is wondering if they can use your images for painting. Um, they need to, to ask permission first because a lot of my, like if you look at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash ESP photo page. ESP photo page? ESP photo, P-H-O-T-O, -O, and then page. So that's, that's that's where you see like the, my most updated portfolio, but the reason you need to ask first is because of, a lot of the times, especially if there's people in them, um, it, there are clients that haven't necessarily given express permission to be able to have that photo used elsewhere. So this one was safe to use um, because it's my niece, and um, they've told me I can use it. So if you do want to use a picture, I'm happy for that to happen, but you just need to ask me first so I can make sure it's legit. So they can just send you a message on Facebook or something? Yeah, absolutely. You could always say, you could always request that I we do a video too, if you want. Yeah. I'm well, yeah. not saying I'll do it, but <laughs> you can always ask. I'm just bump that really quick. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to add some of that texture back in. This is what I needed. I needed a light to start to get the pretty? depth into my rows. Look at I a difference that makes, like looking at the screen. Elizabeth oh, says yeah. you, that you've got a very handsome brother, Amy. He, I I'm sure not do. sure which one she's talking yeah. about. I didn't know Dan was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Who said that? That was Elizabeth. Elizabeth. He's Lin taken, folks. Lindell. Elizabeth Neral. Just kidding. I actually had a, a girlfriend. In Elizabeth. I don't know how. I hope I, I didn't say that terribly. I. I wouldn't put my money on it completely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops! These need to be this way. Oh well. I'm gonna pop out for a second and just check on the kids. Okay. Right back. Okay. Oh yeah, kids. Okay, you can so see, I can just see the the um, experience that you have with painting because like you just have like this, it just looks really talented. Oh, like, sorry, I'll let you finish your thought okay. before I correct you. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what I mean is like, <clears throat> I've been trying to do some of the stuff that I can see you've done over there. And you, you know, just, you, if you don't have the ex the practice, you don't know how to completely control the paint and do the strokes like you'd like. And so, I just think, I like, I like watching you work. Thanks, buddy. Gonna move to England? Yes, please. I lived there for a while. You did? You conceived a baby there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. 
Just stop right there. All right. I just uh, held back another joke, so I'm feeling good with myself. You get a B plus for that. I'm running out of our paint here. It's okay. Okay. So we're pretty much. You're getting there. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Come back over here, Pete. All right. What are we right about? Running out of paint. Mm. This thing where I just want to make it work. Yep. <laughs> but even though, like, we'll probably need more because. It was frustrating because there's just that sort of little thought that this paint's not really exactly the same as I need it to be. See, mine is just I, I can't be bothered to <laughs> So that's the difference between you and me. time are we at here? <laughs> How long has it been? Guess what time it is. What is it? I want you to guess. I don't even want to. I want you to guess how long we've been painting. 12.30. Oh, bless your heart. Uh oh, what is it? It is one seventeen. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. We've got to go meet them next. What time? Well, we'll have to be there at four, but... Okay. We'll be good. Yeah. We're actually... I can't spend that long. Those are always my famous last words. We're almost yeah. done. I'm gonna bring wisp some of those into the down here a little bit. Anyway, anyway okay. okay. If it, you know, we don't actually have to rush anything because if I have to go, I can actually go and finish this later. So okay. I'd rather do that than actually trying to rush it to finish it. So I'm actually just gonna swipe my fan brush with a little bit of the color over the top to keep that out of focus look. Oh, that's pretty. Thanks. Oh. So you've... Okay, I see what you're doing. I'm kind of dulling down the detail. I'm picking up what you're putting down there. That's a little much. So I'm still getting the dark lines showing through a little bit, but they're disappearing. But I'm still getting the shapes and vague, vague details of them, just like in your photo here. Okay. Okay. Do I have any paint left? <laughs> <in that? laughs> uh, I just, just blobbed it again. You blobbed it? Blobbed it. I'm trying to do the out of focus thing, I blobbed it. Oh, maybe water it, thin down your paint a tiny bit. I don't have any paint to thin. There we go. Just make it a little bit. Okay, so here's where I start to get a little bit nervous about, so I'm thinking about starting the lavender part. Mm -hmm. And I was planning on using the fan brush, which I'm... I haven't decided I'm not, but I'm wondering if yeah, me. if a different tech a different brush would actually work better. Okay. So Did you get in? A just um just trying to uh create a, a harder line in between the two levels. 
That is looking so good, Eric. Seriously, look at look at. Thanks. Sweetie, so yours look like big grass. It's pretty. Hmm. So I know that's not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's that kind of looked like a cornfield. It, yeah. But not necessarily that I needed it to look like a cornfield. Yeah. Okay. That's water. Okay, so let's move on to the lavender parts. Yeah. We're going to start with the darkest color. And you can mix this with um, using blue and red um, with a lot more red than blue. You can put a teeny bit of yellow in it if you want. Mm -hmm. but you can experiment. I'm just going to use violet. That, that thing was speaking, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, sorry, I'm so thirsty. Okay, it's okay. I just need to finish off my lines here. That is so nice. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Amy. So pretty. So, so pretty. Ooh, look, you can, uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to put another layer on her dress so that I'm ready to do that later. Okay. So. Up all those pencil marks. Almost there. And you should actually put some white right there. Where? Because you're going to probably need a few layers. So before we start, why don't you cover up that? Paint over that with oh, white, okay. so that by the time we're yeah, ready to paint her skin, brush, you mind just dabbing it for it's me? not. It, this is pink, or oh. this is like the the first hue that we made up. But here's some white, white, white. Sorry. So can I just use that same hue? Uh, I wouldn't, but you can if you want. Hey, I'm gonna argue with the artist. You tell me, girl. Just to keep the uniformity of what we've been doing, the colors we've been using and stuff. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's so crazy. I want to just actually dab. I the right brush, really. Uh oh, we've lost the camera. Oh, just on time. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Right. Is the battery dead? There's another, yep. there's another battery. Just a second, guys. We're coming back. Okay. All right. So. My hands are getting... All right, so let's get some lavender. Some purple. I've got just this nice dark violet. And... Um, that we're going to use. Good thing we've got three batteries. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Here, let me hold you while Dad does that. Hold on, let me just make sure. Hi! You want to say hi to the fine people? What's Dad doing up there? You want to say hi? Dad's trying oh, to put two batteries in one hi. battery hole. Hi! What's Uncle Eric doing? Hello. This is Rocky. <laughs> Okay, Rocky. We're gonna start. Can you give me some inspiration? I'm really oh, I'm trying to make the right choice here. So let's see. Where is my? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? This is pretty awesome. You honestly could just leave it green if you wanted, and it would be awesome. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be really pretty with the purple. Okay, so are you ready to take him back? This oh, yeah, I just to put it back. Oh, sorry. Okay, here he is. Let me give you his binky. It just dropped. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Meet there my you armpit. go. Right, okay. I need my white. So. 
I'm even like flirting with the idea. Guys, 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 I am. Is this happening for real? <sighs> okay, how about I test what I think I want to do first? Let's test the. We have your plate. I'm going to test it on your. My plate? Actually, didn't I just have a piece of cardboard? Where did that go? Oh, the, can I the cardboard over there, Leah, please? Mm hmm. Thanks. Okay, so I've got my cardboard. I'm going to test. Yeah. You see that? So I'm. I've got some on my fan brush, and then I'm jiggling it up. Oh, yeah. Which was my original plan. Hmm. Just the, the, leaven, the detail of the lavender itself is really... Well, we're, yeah. Detailed. So, this isn't, I mean... That's why I gotta think. Um... And it's going to be darker on the edges, so there's a possibility that we could not try to get the fine detail, um, but use a another stipple technique. Not with that, obviously, but um, like maybe with a round brush again. Yeah, let's just do that. I think that'll be easier. We don't need it to look like there's... Yeah. Okay. So, decision made. Let's use our bigger one. We're gonna use our our round okay. dry brush. And hold on, let's wash. Um, sorry, Nate. Can I ask you? Uh, no, you're. Can you grab those the water up there so we can get some clean water? Oh, is that a refill? Yeah. <laughs> or just we can just use them. Okay. So. It's okay, leave those. It's just to wash your brushes if you need. <laughs> this guy, he just got up from a nap. Yeah. And he's ready to not just be sitting here. Yeah. Um, what were you asking for? Sorry. Oh, I got it. Thanks, so. though. Okay, so we are going to uh, grab some our bristly round brush. Maybe we should, yeah, yeah. Let's use the bristly round. You could use a flat too. Oh well. Okay, so grab a bristly brush with just chunky. Oh, it's, sorry, we just changed water because we were using some pretty murky water. Okay, I've got even bigger ones over there. You want to go grab them? Bigger what? Those round brushes, oh. like these. Yeah, Which might be good for the bigger spaces. Why don't we start with the top? Okay, so purple. We're going to start with... Here's purple. Um, and actually, yeah, you can put this on your plate because you're going to want to rub off the excess. That or You could do it on a paper towel too, but kind of like we did with the trees. Okay. So let's do... Is there blue in there as well? I've got... Well, I'm just using purple for now. Okay, so we're going to do a liberal amount on the edges where it's darker, and then it will taper off again, just like... So this is our dark shade of purple. Yes. And like the trees, you want to add, especially where we've put the detail of these little stems, make sure that you're adding some variation. Okay. So you've still got some green showing through. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you want it to be pretty, especially here on the border of where the path meets. That's going to be pretty, pretty just purple. Very little green showing through. But yeah, just use that as a guide. Okay. And be careful when you're coming up and filling these ones in up here. Because if you see here, it gets lighter. So still put some okay. in there. And with this, be really careful not to... Paint her arm. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, remember how I said we were gonna start up there? Oh, well. <laughs> where this up here? Oh, so we could use a bigger brush, but this is okay. All right. So, 
see that you still got the brown or the green showing through a little bit. But then out here, I'll have a lot more green showing through. I'm going to get a little bit more sparse. And just like the trees, like this is pretty well like um, brushed into the canvas or so you can I'd say after just go do some bigger texture like leave okay. a little bit more brush on your paint and do dabs so gives you a little more depth and texture there so actually yeah when you get up here the more sparse you leave this detail, the more it will look like the individual little plants are coming through. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And again, we're going to be brightening this up a lot as we go add layers. So don't feel like you and keeping in mind that we're going to be adding quite a few more layers mm -hmm. don't think oh i've left this green like don't be tempted to cover up too much green yeah. as you go i found that when i um <clears throat> just i kept adding more and more to the top when i actually had intended to have a much more open skyline yeah so maybe that's good that we started with that so that you could get a good feel yeah. so out here it's Yeah, we're, I want this to be nice and bright by the end. So, just remember, don't be too tempted. If it, I could uh Oh, Eric. What's that? Elizabeth says she's looking at the photos of you. Of me? She's really grossed out. What have I done? But Spider? L the LMAO of the baby pictures. Oh. Wait, what baby pictures? That you, um, <laughs> Of the photography where they were doing shoots and the, the babies would oh. throw up or poop. On yeah, them. well, those that's actually <laughs> yeah. those actually aren't mine. That's just a post I thought was funny because I've had that happen in my studio on lots of occasions. But um, yeah, that is disgusting. So They're I'm funny. taking a smaller brush on the side. Everything else on there is mine. Is that? I want to have more control when I'm doing the stippling right by her yeah. arms. So. It may not give you the, as good of a variation over here, but I'm going to use my little tiny pointed brush to do the sibling over here, right by this, the, her. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> I got you. Then you're a lot less likely to, to stipple her arm instead. If you don't feel like you have to get right close up, same with her hair, which up here is pretty light, but all right. There was a request that you two um, just demonstrate your singing abilities together. I, that was, it was a while back, maybe on the uh, maybe at the beginning of the second stream <laughs> of the day. Uh -huh. um, someone was asking if Eric was a singer as well. He is. He's a beautiful singer. And I told him. I mean, he's pretty much a pro himself. So yep. that's a uh, generous. So I told them that you two have a duet prepared. We do? Yep, we do. <laughs> the lavender fields, fields are green, green and, and purple. purple. Keep going. I'll 
follow you. Uh, that was your turn. turn. I was going to follow you. Second second wife. Wife. No, Is you that? go because I'm going to follow okay. you, and then I'm even going to maybe throw down some harmony. <gasps> Shut up. I know. Go ahead. Gone. So start over, maybe. That was that was great, Eric. Thanks. It was really good. Don't give up now. Hey, if that's what you've got, such that's a what tease. You've done. I loved it every second of it. All right, are we gonna go improv then? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it and just describe what I'm doing. <laughs> Paint in purple on the, the picture. picture. It's <laughs> really fun. <laughs> <laughs> <Should not realize. laughs> this is where everybody leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> that's what that's what my uh, improv boils down to. Okay. All right. All righty. A little bit over here. It's a rope. I think, oops, quite happy with that at the moment, as that stands. I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to bring this really up into my hazy. I think I'm only going to bring the lighter purple, because I've already got the depth from the green before. So. Really. So Amy, I think you'll appreciate this topic. Okay. We're, and also you'd probably appreciate if we can see what Eric's doing, like everybody would. <laughs> Sorry guys, but <laughs> naps. Yes, everyone's talking about naps. Have I, we put you to sleep or do you just love them as much as I do? We love naps. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ya. Naps are my um, favorite thing. CD says naps and chocolate and <laughs> Sharon is a professional sleeper. <laughs> I want that job. So I want that job. <laughs> professional sleeper. Wow. You can run up in the hazel. says where to go Eric. Thanks. You're doing great. So encouraging, yeah. Thank you very much. There's no surprise to me. I should be praising you more. <laughs> but because it really is incredible. Like you're doing a fantastic job. And I should be praising you more. Um but I mean I think it's because I'm just not surprised that <laughs> yeah. it's so beautiful and good. Well thank you. You are you've got what it takes already, the knowledge to be a painter. Thanks. And um, the fact that you compose, like you compose this photo to begin with. Well, but I mean, seriously, everybody could do that, right? Click the camera, <laughs> click the button. Yeah, so easy. Joking, joking. I tried that many times. <laughs> what joking? <laughs> I've tried joking, yes. <laughs> I feel it that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying, little buddy. <laughs> Just kidding. I think you're funny. Oh, yeah. You do get that a comment a lot. Oh, nice picture. You must have a really nice camera. I know. That's right. You hate that. You made it. it yes, so it I do have a nice camera. Skills. What's that? <laughs> it can't be your skills, right? Yeah. It's just the camera. Well, I know people have the best of intentions when they say that. 
but it is a funny thing to hear. Nice picture. No, nice painting, Amy. <laughs> Your paint brushes must be so nice. Yeah, that's a good comparison. <laughs> I think the problem we ran into today is that your paintbrush was too nice. <laughs> That's it. Right? I mean, we needed a rattier brush to do the fan stuff you were trying to do. So I wonder if you ever run into that problem with your photography, where your lens is just too good. Yeah. You just don't know what to, how to get the shot. You're Funny to. thing, Matt. I bought a really, 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 really expensive lens that is like top end, has con incredible abilities. But with the incredible abilities of that lens... With great abilities... Yes. Comes, wait for it. <laughs> so anyway, if anyone knows anything about depth of field, which is important in all sort of artist mediums like these, then the, this lens had, the, had an incredible ability to get a very uh, shallow depth of field, so everything in the background was really out of focus. Um, I started to use it, but I couldn't control it because it was so powerful, like, just one fraction of a move in the wrong direction and I was completely out of focus on the shot. So, yeah, you can so it does have too happen. much. How about that? Too much going on. Okay, so I am going to... Do you mind just moving that for a second? Sorry, yep. Thanks. I'm going to add some red to my purple and then... I want it to be kind of magenta. Which I have magenta in here, but I thought I don't have much of it, so let's just make some. I'm going to order a remote for this candle too. Handy, handy. Cause this getting up and changing things. <laughs> it's getting annoying. And I'm whining, so <laughs> there. Mm -hmm. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so right now I am mixing some red and purple about equal parts and it's giving me this nice magenta color so I'm going to come back to this in a second it's really pretty okay and then so right now I'm going to actually I'm going to add, um, where did my purple go? Do you have my purple? Okay. So here's some purple. I'm going to put some more of that down right there. And this time I am going to add white to brighten it up. Where's what are you doing? White? Do you have the white too? Uh, mm -hmm. I have black over here if you ever need it. Just to let you know. Okay. So let's do quite a bit of white. I actually put a little bit more white than purple even. And then, actually over here, I'm going to add some white to that magenta color. Actually, and you know what? I'm going to put white over her arms. I'm going to paint over it and s to cover up the pencil line. That's what I did too. Actually, am I? No, I'm not. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> So, here's some white and purple when you're ready. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to mix... Oh, I was done with some... Because you've mixed with both of us before, I thought you were going to do it again. Here, let me have some of that stuff. I did. There's some purple right there, and here's some Open red. Purple down. Okay, so I'm going right. to... First, I'm going to um, brighten up the magenta with some white. Gives you this really beautiful, soft, soft. So before you carry on, let me just tell me the, the sort of ratios you're going for. So I I kind of used I used basically the same part purple to red for the magenta. So focus on that now. Same purple to red. Same. Yep. Okay. And then um, and then I added maybe even twice as much white to the purple. So might not even end up using it, but we'll see. Okay, so so I've got purple, 
magenta, light purple, and light magenta, basically, okay. if you want to think of it that way, that I'll be using to add color to the lavender and brightness. Gotcha. So, if you want to see, I'll show you on this what each of those colors look like. So, here is my magenta. Oh, that brushes. And here is the purple. Oh, that's the blue. Ah, did I just take blue? Oh, whoops. You did blue okay, that, that, but that's not what I mixed with. <laughs> I just need more purple. No, I don't. Anyway, you know what the purple looks like. That's what the purple looks like right there. <laughs> Right, Grant has decided that I'm now in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Nate just walked in with a karate gi. Okay, there's a little of the white, the light magenta, which no, got a little streak of blue in it. But as a rule, don't eat paint. That seems like a good rule. Says who? <laughs> did you just scoop out some of your magenta into your Yeah, I one? did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, I keep mm. it on it because I'm rubbing it in that blue. Okay, and then here is. The lighter purple color. Are we keeping track of the colors that are in your palette so we can put them in? Yeah. Yep. Don't you worry. Okay. I will give specifics. That is ultramarine blue. Sure but we're not that. using that. I accident. I thought I was dipping into purple. Ah. How so much just white did you put in? Up to the magenta? Is that even again? Yeah. Uh, maybe a little more. We want it to be nice and bright by the end. Okay. Okay, so let's grab the stippling brush again. Where did mine go? Did I leave it? Is this it? And Okay, so now let's take... Now I'm going to take the magenta, not brightened up. And I'm going to add some around. Not too much, because we don't want it to end up looking maroony. But I'm going to put it just around kind of where the darker purple was. Just add some so magenta. Magenta? Yep. Are you too loving how warm it is in here? Oh, yeah. We can actually use this same one for the ribbon. I know the ribbon is more red, but you could leave it red, but anyway. This is looking so cool. Oh, Make sure you put down, especially in the bottom, some nice big textured blots of magenta just a few so wait 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 is it blots or dollops this time <laughs> wallops These are <laughs> wait no that's too that's too much we just talked about having too much to handle I oh think. not it not even a dip this is a blot so blots <laughs> yeah. are less than dips that's yeah okay a blot okay i'm not even i don't even really don't, want to don't even go into like a splotch no splotches Oops. splotches are right it. out Depending on the picture. <laughs> We're so deep. You are. Alright. Where are we? I need a mixer. So, normally when you paint, like, if you were painting light to dark, or, yeah, light to dark, then when you laid down these colors, they would stay pretty true to themselves. Right now, we're losing the color a little bit. Is that in your light magenta? Yeah. I need more white in mine, I think. But, um, you've got to do just tons more layering in order to get the colors that you want. Because it's easy, it's a lot easier for those colors to get lost when you go darker to lighter. Yeah. But, I think it's better to go that way, this way. So, for yeah. this painting. So that's why I'm doing it. So that's why she's rolling the so way she's rolling. Just let me be me. So Eric, I'm really hoping that you're going to make that into a cape on her back because it, it looks like a cape to me. I think yes. that it needs to be. She's a superhero. That would actually be really. She's kind of walking okay. away from the scene of whatever just happened. Like it. No. I mean, you know, Marvel has just introduced Wonder Woman. That's what's it. Reintroduced, uh huh. Reintroduced, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for that. I was hoping they would go a different direction with her, but it's all right. 
I'm not as big a fanboy as a lot of people, so I don't get angry about it. My okay. purple and magenta are very similar. Oh, are they? Then add more red. I think I'm just going to take my purple and actually add... Uh, not that I don't appreciate your value opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but I like my magenta as that is. So I'm going to just make my purple really light. Okay. So now I'm going to stipple some more of... I'm going to stipple some of this... Lighter... Pur this purple that we lightened up. Again, here's where you want to be twisting and rotating your brush because you don't want it to have the same. We don't want it to look like a stencil or a. There we go. Okay. So maybe even like in the front, I just decided I'm going to do this. So I've tilted my brush sideways and then I'm actually going to. If you looky here, okay. I'm gonna go up and do. Oh, that's good. More lavender looking. Oh, I like that. Ooh, it's pretty. We figured oh, it out. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, now you're way ahead of me. I need to do my magenta. Yeah. So we've just done a lot of. I think you'll be able to catch up. That's why I didn't wait for you. It's okay. So prove me right. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I it. almost went there. <laughs> Time. So they're going to be, these are going to be quite bigger at the bottom. And you can stipple, like look at these. So if you look at the lavenders themselves, they've got, if you look really Sorry, close. Sorry, I'm coming. It's I'm okay, coming. it's okay. Um, they've got in each single one, each single, every single one, Yeah. they've got all of these colors. So like right now I'm doing in these, as I go up and out, whatever, mm -hmm. I'm just doing the lighter lavender, but I would then maybe go and take, after this, maybe I'll go and take this magenta right here and put just a teeny, a little bit in each one, maybe. Yeah. And then just do that with every color. Okay. But make sure you're adding variants to where they're going and, and just like in the trees, you don't want it to look like they're so uniform or patterned. Yeah, okay. It's, this is actually a fascinating photo because we're looking at nature, but we're also looking at human manicured things. And the the wedding of the two or, or the marriage of the two yeah. are really nice. So <laughs> this farmer has, these farmers have like formed this field. And so you get these beautiful lines, but then and they planted the lavender so they're just full and vibrant but they're still the lavender it's still full and doing its own thing yeah. it's really beautiful I gotcha I like it and also remember I'm gonna leave like a pretty green space right there They're getting a little big over there. There. What's that? My, they're just getting kind of big. What are? My lavender. Oh. The blossoms. Yeah. I'm gonna keep them really tiny. I am, I am so excited about this. I think it's turning out so pretty. So am I. Right, I'm gonna come in this area. Please. Okay. I gotta remember to get smaller and thinner as I go up. Yeah. 
can be hard to remember sometimes or to keep in mind. Okay, don't forget, now is a good time to overlap a little bit into your lines right here. Okay. Oh, looks like the flowers kind of uh -huh. sporadically going places. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Why isn't it, why is it taking us so long to do this together? It's, it's actually... We, we always threaten to do it every time I come into town. Oh, to, you're to saying why is it taking so long for us to buckle down and paint together? Yeah, we always say, let's let's paint. And I say, yes, let's do it. And then we don't. I know. I'm glad that we have that occasion for it. A lot of the hit for that myself. <laughs> well, that's, that's why this is I nice, This me doing this live stream, because it gives me motivation to actually do this mm. with people. And, Okay, so here they're going to get really close together, and you're not going to see the definition that you do down here. Uh, but you still leave a little bit of green popping out here and there. Not tons, not not like you do down here, but you still, still want a little illusion. Make sure it's not so dark down here. You want to keep that depth. But yeah, so it'll get thinner and thinner, but you can still do like a couple or a few in there. Oh, actually. Maybe I'll put some of that magenta, a few dots here and there in the bright spots, but not too many. That will help give me a little depth, too. I definitely think the stipple brush, the dry brush, is the way to go. This. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. It'll break up the lines some places, eh? that looking Ooh, I'm liking it I'm okay. loving it I'm wanting some more of it <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna take my lighter magenta color and I'm thinking these will need to be brightened up even a little bit more maybe after or we can use some of the sky color now I'm really oh, yeah. going to brighten up some of these like you were saying before not using as much down here of this color but we'll still put it sparsely at the tips of some of these all right about ready just a minute level although I might just take my brown, I might spur off with me for a minute. I'm just going to take my brown and kind of um, work in my top layers. Okay. And um, just because I seem to kind of like the building up from the dark. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do your you thing, brother. I'm... You're an expert of color. You got this. Oh, I'm an expert of painting. <laughs> I just, um, that well, I've got everything out in here. I'll just do it. Alrighty. Oh, I love when it all just starts coming together. Mm. That's nice. Especially when they're, you, you're doing something that you were worried about. That's looking awesome. Hey. Shut the door. I haven't looked over there for a minute. <laughs> that is awesome. So it gets quite right in here. 
I'm just patting your wife on the back. I'm coming on the other side of the table so that my wrist strokes can go the right direction. <laughs> Let's just rewind that for a minute. Alright, let's see. Athena says gorgeous. Ooh, I, I like the know. dark color there, Eric. Isn't that pretty? I like it too. It's really nice. Thanks. Well, on this trip to America, I've done two new things. What? I've painted a canvas, and I've ridden a motorcycle for the first oh. time ever. Not that that's going to carry on, but... Medina says keep the door open. I missed the conversation about the door being closed, so... What door? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm not sure. Medina. Help us. Please help us. It's very possible that we have said things <laughs> that we did not. Okay. Medina I don't says, know. see the difference between the two paintings. Eric, Eric's painting looks like the girl is almost at the beginning of the trees, while Amy's girls still have a long way to go. Ah. Interesting. That's a cool way to look at it. It'll be I kind of think that Eric, actually, as you're as you're putting in the background uh -huh. um, color there, I think it's making it look a little bit less that way because you're giving some of the distance. Oh, like right this now. definition here? Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, well, we'll <laughs> lose some of this in a minute. We build them on top of it. Okay, I think I need a little bit more magenta color. Oh, kind of like me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, I love that lavender, Amy. So Isn't it awesome? How did you get that lavender? Is that a stock color, or did you mix? Um, no, I got the lavender. It's, oh no, the lavender, sorry. I, I bought the violet, but it's just purple and red. So, if you were making it from blue and red, you would do purple and red, but probably like three or four times as much red as purple. Okay. And then you can see how it looks and then maybe maybe you would add a few different things here and there. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more magenta back up into over some of these. Um, Eric. Yeah. So I think we're gonna lose the camera in a second. Uh huh. Any chance you could push the record button on and off real quick? Yeah. Because I'm just Oops, trying to right imagine too. myself doing that while holding this baby. Yeah. Where is it? On the right hand side, right next to the viewfinder, there's a button. Is that the actual yeah. shutter one? Yeah. Coming back! Oh. Well, that wasn't take, quite what I meant. I have to take a picture. <laughs> I think we're okay. Good. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> um, she says, so Sharon says it's the color difference. Light and muted colors are in the distance. Dark and pure colors bring things to the forefront. And Medina says she's loving this, all caps. So she nice. actually shouted that. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you, Medina. From the bottom of our hearts. This is so fun. <clears throat> oh. Man, I will post the Facebook page as soon as this little guy is done with this bottle. <laughs> if you can I'm hear him snorting yeah. a little. <laughs> so there's actually something that I'm... This is fine, but if you're wanting it a little bit more warm, then I'm thinking to add more yellow. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you at home are wanting more warmth in your lavenders... Then try adding mm. a little bit more yellow to That's a really your good colors. Point. To your brighter colors. Actually, maybe I should because here. if I'm going to be putting a glow in her skin, then there should mm. be also a glow in her flowers. But I'll do that afterwards. I'm going to yet, so I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow into mine. Okay. But, I mean, there's a mixture here. Anyway, okay, so let's, now that I've got a good idea what I'm doing, I'm going to do the rest of my photo a little bit more quickly, and 
I'm talking less. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I no, needed. No, don't stop talking. <laughs> can't stop. I said talking less. I'm not going to be oh, explaining as much because I've already explained most of it up there. So I'm just going in the same order. So now I'm getting my lighter purple. I'm just going to bring some of the hair down like you did to, to get a head start when we get there. too bright down there. But I need to think about... Medina is doing an underwater scene and an, and an on steroid abstract tree. That sounds fun. Wow. Sure. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. So we just lost our babysitter. Yeah, we've got we've got the little <laughs> one for the rest of the time. Oops, just got the wrong one. All right, where's Manny? Is he sleeping? He is. He's on the map. There should be a little more of this over here. you start after the magenta? Did, is that when you started with um, your fan brush? I didn't use a fan brush. Uh, what were you I using? Just that same one? Me, yep. So show me but I'm, but like to get the little, the longer yeah. looking things, I'm kind of pressing it sideways and then holding it sideways and just doing it in a okay. line up like that. Yellow somewhere. Just, yeah. So to get the golden, you just add a tiny bit of yellow or something. Or? I'm thinking. So you might want to put test a little first, and you would just need just probably a tiny bit of yellow. Baby is looking over us at us, and he is just oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I honestly right. like. I love her not being painted in the middle. And I think if I weren't do it, I would leave it. If I weren't. You right there, kiddo? Uh oh. quite good. Oh, nice. What did you do to get that? Let's do that. See, do it again. Yeah. 
And you could even do like a lighter color of that to get the really the highlights. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make some more of that. <clears throat> Actually, I like the paint brush in your hair there, Amy. Oh, I forgot it was. That's what I was trying to find it. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one was yours. Uh, <laughs> well, or one of them, because now I have two. Sucker! <laughs> we use that. I want it a little darker down here, in a way. So there. Even that purple residue. Nathan, what's going on with you, man? <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh at you, little baby, but that is kind of funny. He's I mean, always been a snorter. He has been snorting since... Since the day you came I out. wonder, remember when I was pregnant and I'd always feel those weird things since I... I really don't think He was you snorting were his snorting. amniotic fluid. <laughs> Fine. Take away my dream, Nate. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> yellow so I've just taken your light magenta I've just added yellow to it okay and then I've just yeah that's a I've really just nice taken that and I've added a ton of white for my really highlight can, you, like, can they see oh. it so that's my that's the magenta that's was my light magenta which was that was it but then I've, see? I've just um that's probably too mixed with my brush. I've just taken. Oh, that's gonna be. I've, nice. I've added yellow to that, and now I'm taking that yellow, um, the mixture with yellow, and I'm adding lots of white just so that I can have a really bright one for the highlighted. That's amazing. It's oh, I love I love working with color. Mm. I don't think I've ever done that like this before. Pretty fun. Oh, you are adorable. Magenta over to <laughs> this is <a> disgusting <laughs> noise. <laughs> but I'm gonna steal some of that from you because I want I that on tons. top. I have so much. But I really like how it's going to just add that warmth back in there. Yeah. Alright, here's my brighter one. Okay. Oh, Manette was in, U in Science Park last week. Uh, thanks for visiting. Yeah, yes. next time come visit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Rocky is spitting at you because you didn't come visit. Eric was just there. Well, not Zion's, but you probably, I don't know if you saw some of the red rocks. I'd imagine if you were in Zion, you did. The Bryce kind of stuff? Yeah. Uh, we went to Fire Valley near Las Vegas, which had a lot of cool red rock stuff. Oh, I thought, oh, interesting. That's the pictures that you have on your phone there, that's what. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm that's sorry. Funny, Amy. I don't know, I just, that sound is horrible. <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Rocky's laughing. Um, yeah. Oopsie. Uh, 
All right, I'm ready to rock and roll here. Nearly. <laughs> you're, so, you're so much more good. All right, I need to wash this out. You can always come back and finish. Oh, I'll have to. <laughs> okay. Please share that on Facebook. I yes, want to see it. please. Or wait, did you? Or do you we mean you actually painted a red on walk. the rocks? Oh, that? <laughs> yeah. People frowned upon that. Um, I did doing what? Painting on the red rock. Oh. So did you hear about the lady that was decided she was going to leave her mark all over by painting on all these beautiful red art? Red, I mean, red rock. Oh, no. People were not pleased. Right. Do you have two brushes here? Do I? Yep. Yeah. Happy bus a day. Let's go. Alright, there we go. Time to start lavender in it. Alright, here he goes. <laughs> oh, I really want to say hi to this person, but I don't think I can say that name. What, in Just Polish? Do it, do it. Uh, Farathula Mode? Hi, Farathula <laughs> She says it was on canvas, so rest easy. <laughs> okay, I can't really see that. Okay, that's pretty bright over there. But I'm going to need some of your peachy. You got it. I got tons. Okay. I could have just looked at my... You know how I forgot that I made the color map on my phone. Yeah. That's true. I can Good. still look at it, I guess. <laughs> Oops. All right. So. So can you show me really quick how you started out with the, your lavenders? So the same thing, same. Oh, but like the sideways. Okay. So kind of smush your brush mm -hmm. sideways. And just give it a little wiggle. But you still want, don't want too much yeah, on it. Yeah, but it's so it's a little flatter, and then you just kind of go up like that. And make sure you're keeping. Do one for me again. <laughs> um, you like want that? yours? Well, dab it though, because if you look here, it looks. I mean, this will help us if we stipple it. Or, I stab is not the word. Stipple it. Dab's mm -hmm. a great word. <laughs> so stipple. Up and down. Yeah. But not too, not too much. You just want little ones. Because remember that um, you're going to be adding more and more layers. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So you have, okay. just like the trees, you've got, oops, that's not what I wanted. And then, yeah, you'll just... But the brighter colors. Let's to... go, Eric. You can do it. Woohoo! Once you get up here, though, it's just going to be more basic stippling instead of the lines, because oh. that will help us give us the depth of field that it's further away from us. Got up here. You also had less detail, didn't you? Just yeah, just very hazy. And And then you want to keep it like it's really dark around her body down here, but not as dark as down here. So kind of maybe somewhere in the middle. I wonder if this is going to be like the um, the alarm beep and everybody's going to be like, that sound of the baby in the background. <laughs> well, remember last time when he was screaming and we said, what's worse, the the smoke detector sound in some of my videos or baby crying and everyone said baby crying <laughs> not everyone some people were like definitely the smoke detector so i don't know if you know about the smoke detector Archimus. nope Beep. so 
um, a couple years ago I made a few videos up in the barn and mm. this smoke detector the battery was dying and so in and this is before I did um, voiceovers or whatever <laughs> and you so in the videos like every 10 or 15 seconds it goes <laughs> And people, it has just outraged people so much. And so, I mean, people were very f fragrant and fragrant. <laughs> what? I think you mean fragrant. No, people stunk. Fragrant. People stunk. They did. They smelled so terrible. <laughs> Manette remembers the smoke detector. Everyone does. Fondly, Every I think. Are you one of the ones that like? Cursed me out. Some people were using some pretty serious language. Well, about that. calm down. <laughs> Did your mother know you speak this way? <laughs> probably learned it from their mother. <laughs> it was probably their mom in the background. Turn that thing off. Or someone switch the battery. <laughs> Not alarm. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh, ha! I love it. Are you looking over there? As you step back, it just changes it. It's so amazing. This is oh, I wasn't looking over there. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay, the next part should be a little bit easier, I think, because we're not putting as much detail. Mm -hmm. well, I might add some deeper purples later back in. Okay, so now I'm going to take... What do we start with? We go the same pattern. Same way. So we did... Oh, I've already done the magenta. I like how yours has a little, such different character, Eric, that, that's cool. Thanks. What did I do? Oh. Purple. It's, it's nice going to, um, like on a photo trip with different people who like, who also like to take pictures and stuff because you get kind of complacent in your approach to stuff. And, um, and then if I go out with some friends who would like photography and I'll be taking a picture and then they'll see a different angle that I would not even have thought of maybe even approaching or I do the same to them. So yeah, it's quite interesting. All right. That's it, I mean, uh, photography is art. It's a form of art. Absolutely. And it's amazing how differently people approach art. And even if they're faced with the same subject or idea. That's that so cool. Thanks. I think I'd have to call it. I'm gonna come on this edge if I can. Sorry. It's all right. We do not have a lot of elbow room up here. So I think I found it's good to go through the middle first with your thickest part, and then I'm gonna taper off as I go to the bottom here. Leave the bottom pretty dark. Still bring a few colors. Oh, I'm covering it up. What I'm doing as I'm saying it. So I've done the. the Lined in through the middle, and then I'm tapering it down because I don't want to see a line of anything, right? Yeah. And then I'll I'll actually taper it back up a little bit. Oh, I really like just seeing that palette. That was pretty. Ta -da! <laughs> I mean, the the colors are just great colors. <laughs> Are you gonna paint, be a painter, Rocky? What do you think? How could you avoid it? <laughs> oh, whoops! That's our upper horizon line, huh? Okay, I wanted to. I'm just gonna look that off. It's gross. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's my first horizon line. Oh wait. No, it's not. Hello. Got this one, and then I forgot to put the. I want to put the lighter. <clears throat> Topish. 
feel like I need to angle the camera up a little bit if you're gonna stand like that. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'd, I'd like to have that angle on it. Sorry, everybody, that was a little more abrupt than I intended. <laughs> I just, I like how you're standing there all, your, your <laughs> business, this is getting this done. You're on my business end now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, mm-hmm. Sure runs great. She says, 25 watching, only 11 likes. What's wrong with your fingers? <laughs> yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't eat paint. <laughs> These Thank are all you. good Just pieces it. of advice. Very good. <laughs> if you do all of those, I'm pretty sure you'll live a long, happy life. <laughs> all right, let's see how we're looking out there. Not too bad. I think I need a little more depth back in there. But I'll add yeah. a in there. What do I have? Oh, that's what it was. I couldn't find where my next line was. On the other was one side, and I was thinking I'd painted over it, but actually I haven't painted up to it. To put a little bit of purple back in a couple places. I'm just getting some. a little bit of violet back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Um, I have to keep reminding myself to look back at the picture I to like, get the reference. Because I kind of just have an idea. That's okay though. I think when you get to that point, just go with it. Hmm. Like if you need a reference for, like, okay, how did. The shadows look so how if, if I want them to have the same kind of depth and stuff yeah. then can they give me an idea of what might go well here but once you just go with it if you've got ideas and <laughs> stuff you can with that's it. gonna need a little bit of oopsie that's way too much I want to put the back down here So I just took some of the residue on my brush and kind of brushing it in. Oh, nice. Oops. Yourself. Not a minute. So the more These layers, are awesome. it's, it's it's so fun. So the more layers you add, the more depth it'll give it. Mm -hmm. Just remember to leave your deep parts. I don't know where you want because you're doing something different, but to be much more sparse, pretty sparse when you're laying down stuff like that. It's really good. Sparse. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll shut up. No, I know good. you've got a vision. Well, no, it's good to. I mean, I've got a vision, but at the same time, I don't have. Like the awareness of the follies and I can't think the of words. Follies? My head's not working. I could just um 
That one's a lot more dappled, isn't it? Dappled. There's a new one. And we were coming up with lots of new terms. <laughs> dappled. Magenta. Oopsie. Hi, buddy. What time is it, Nathan? It is... It is 2.30. Alright, I'm gonna have to go soon. That's okay. That's bad. All right, I said that's okay, and then I laughed. Yeah. Okay. You can come back and do it later. I love what oh, you've done here, Eric. Thanks. Ah, oh, it's pretty. It kind of looks the same color as Silly Putty. Yeah. Not that's not a knock. It's just an observation. I know. Okay. I'm can I steal some you of your you Silly Putty color? Sure. I'm gonna try to warm up my lavender a little bit. It's not bad. At, oh wait, hold on. Before I do that, I need to. Okay. So, do I have smaller dry brushes? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I do. You can use this after me. But I'm going to do the same thing up here to these. To what? Just, I'm going to leave the, but I'm just going to, instead of dabbing up here, I'm really just going to wipe along all the colors that I want to keep the out of focus illusion. Maybe when I put some of the blossoms on, I'll dab a little tiny bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing some magenta, and I'm doing it around the deeper. Let's switch. Did we even get any purple yet? Some purple. That just maybe. Anyway. Okay. Let's do that to the other side too. Oh, I think that's good already. This baby is teething for sure. <laughs> Who else has kids at home out there? Anyone? <laughs> Manette wants to know if the silly putters, putty color is going to go well with her skin. <laughs> well, if you look here. Depends on color so of skin. So, <laughs> one of the reasons that, that he chose to brighten it up is if you look at her skin here, it's quite orangey and warm up here but down here you've got the same lavender colors but the silly putty color he's doing is actually in this a lot which is what warms it up so it's almost like it brings the warmth and the coolness together in theory anyway we'll see what happens okay how's that looking now we'll add some of the brighter what's the other picture that we had um, On the floor, would you like it? Yes, please. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, not have much detail out there. Medina has two big kids, 23 and 26. Oh. Uh, they're the... fighting right now as if toddlers. <laughs> oh, that's discouraging. <laughs> and Rhea's son is 16 and a half. Cool. What? Are you wishing you were painting too? Oops. How's that looking? Are we keeping the vagueness of the detail, but the illusion of a kind of a hill upward? Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Cool. All right, add some of that brightened, lightened up magenta. Okay. 
make it a little more humpy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the top. Actually, more in the base. Never mind. That's it. I'm just looking at because it kind of the lightest color comes in the middle and then goes upward like that, and so I'm gonna try to do that so that there's more there's more depth and darkness on the top. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's also the, an interesting bright line. Yeah, that's what I... Is that what you just said? <laughs> oh, I didn't even catch it. Because I originally did the bright line at the top, or the bright, the highlights. But now I'm going to try to follow that and put them through the middle. Oops, over here. <laughs> Ever so slightly. My hand says it reflects uphill. It's pretty, pretty. Amy. What? My hand says it reflects uphill. It reflects uphill. Mm -hmm. So it kind of ends. Alright. So it starts down here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, we're ready to go to the next color. Oh, right. no, nope, I have a whole section. I sat down just too early. Let's see. Let's see. It's a little too bright. Yeah. Uh, the, the value. Ah, I almost got the blue again. Where's my purple? There it is. Buddy, that's noisy. How do you tell a seven-month-old to like, be, just be a little quieter, buddy? <laughs> you don't. Is that a little better? magenta over here too. This one's a little different. Each hump is brighter on this side. Comes down. I think that was concentration in my favorite. <laughs> Shoot, see then I, get, I need to pay attention because I'm just following this pattern but it actually doesn't follow a pattern. So then I start losing the shapes. That's okay, that's why you just work them out. Okay. It's really purple up here. Just nice and turquoise. How have you done that to smooth it out like that? I'm just, instead of dabbing, I'm just dragging. Mm -hmm. So you don't have water down or anything? Uh -uh. Tell me, uh, reverse for a second. Okay. You have, you started, tell me all the colors you've put in. Okay, so I've got, I started, okay, we've got our green down, and then I dabbed some dark, some purple down mm -hmm. all over, and then I dabbed magenta over that, um, and then I dabbed this lighter purple over that, and then the lightened down magenta color over that. Okay. And then I actually went back and <clears throat> went over just a few spots with some darker to give yeah. it, put that the variety back in. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. So, yeah. Now I'm just nice. adding a little bit more magenta mm. up here. Alright, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna, I lost this depth right here, so I'm gonna add that back in some of my original brown-ish. Oh, yeah. 
actually. Just a teeny bit. Oh, we have one of your giveaway winners here. Oh, hi. Dean Wright says hi, huge fan. Hi, Dean. Okay, let's see. Where's my so what did he win? Yeah, what did he win? Tell us. Oops. Okay. I need to see that really fast. Or can I look yeah, at that? Yeah, this one. Thanks. So it's quite, oops. He says he wants some brushes. Cool. Wait, is he the, do you live on Isle of Man? Is that? I thought you were gonna say like Mulberry Lane or something like that. <laughs> do you live on Mulberry Lane? Hi, Mark. All right. Did he leave? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. All right. Um, it's got. It's actually a little bit more warm there. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that stuff for now. Feel good about it. And then. I'm just going to, every color, I'm going to bring in. Alright. <clears throat> Drink time. <laughs> Up next, we're going to be playing a painting drinking game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I steal some of your silly putty color? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of it. Just that one in the... Well, that's just the dark version of that, so those two match. This one? These two in the middle, uh -huh. those two are the matches. Okay, that's two enough. Two different shades. Thank you. Do you, want the, you want the darker one? I'm a little bit. Oh, let me see the lighter that's one. That's the lighter one there. Let me just dab it and see. Oh, it's too wet. Shoot. Ah! Yeah! Okay. I'm going to try Eric's yellow, his, let's see, it was basically um, magenta and you added yellow, right? I don't know if this will actually look okay with the colors I've already used. So I'm just doing a little test spot first. Oh yeah, I think it did brighten it up, or warm it up. Smaller brush. Okay, so I am going to steal some of your, you do. wait, do you have enough? Yeah, I've pretty much. Well, I haven't used this the light one? one yet. I've only used the dark one. Okay. You don't have much to Come to the light side, Eric. Yes, I'm coming. Well, I think I was supposed to say that with less of an evil voice, though. <laughs> that a bit of fun. Okay, so I'm just going to dab this, brighten it up just a teeny bit, and warm it up just a little bit. Might be too hard, this brush. Excuse me. Um, Pillar Porter says, hi Amy, beautiful painting, really enjoying it. Thank you. I like this. It's quite a, having like a little rigid, I've been lacking sort of definition in my um, flowers. Mm -hmm. So I think this will um, help me to get it back. I have a bit much more rigid brush. It's just kind of help me. Oh, you're using the pointed brush. Yeah. Cool, that's a good idea. I really like that you're taking liberties. I like when people make it their own, I really do. Did you say, I like when you're taking liberties, or did you say, I like when you're taking liberties? <laughs> that's good. Good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do dots. I don't want hey. too much of this. enough to brighten it a little, warm it up a little bit. Dean says he is representing the small Isle of Man. Well, I could have, you know, brought some brushes back to the UK and shipped them from there. 
Well, you, you still, still can. can. <laughs> yeah. You haven't gone oh, back home yet. Not got them yet. Yeah. All right. That would be cool. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for offering. And next, that she's going to try to paint this one. Yay! Yay. Please do. And Men and Medina wants to do it, but without the girl. That should be That'd interesting. Be that would be really cool. I actually have um, another really nice one of her. I have lots. There's actually loads from this shoot. Most of them with her face, actually, but. I have one where she's jumping across this path with sort of like a a long leap. So her she's a dancer, so she's got a really a, a good ability to... What is it called? What am, I, what am I thinking when you sort of... What's that move called when you do a really big uh, jump? But like a nice... A leap? Yeah, a leap, but it's, it's more than a leap. It's like a... I don't know. A frolic. A quantum leap? It's like a, it's like a frolic. <laughs> But like a really laid out frolic. And she's just, so she was positioned over this path. So it looked pretty cool. Anyway, that is cool. There's also one that's really close up of her face, and that was the most popular one. Well, you'll have to put a link. Mm. Share a link with me, and I'll share it with them. Sure thing. Well, I'm going to try. I think they're on my Facebook page as well. Cool. Oops. Right. If you dig back a two or three years. <laughs> So I'm taking my color right now that I put in the sky uh -huh. and on her dress just to brighten up things oh, a little bit. That's good. It ties it together too. Yeah. Oh, the going to put an old farm road down on it. An old what? Old farm road. I think ah. that's actually cool. Oh, that I does like sound it. cool. Oh, I mean, really I'm picturing cool. a, a dirt road down the middle, maybe with some fence posts or something cool like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm picturing. That's so nice. Oopsie. That's kind of... Cindy says she's a beginner, so every painting she does is her own. So I can't follow along. Eric, you're doing great, and I love your photo being used for this lesson. Thanks. Thank you very much. Well, we can be beginners together. Dean says the highlights on the purple are stunning. Mm. Mm. It really makes it pop. It's really nice. So mine is still quite warm, or still quite cool, my colors. But I think I'm just going to roll with it and adjust the skin tone as I... When I paint her skin tone, and then maybe we'll j let's just go to the skin, and <laughs> you can keep doing what you're doing, and then come over later or another time. Well, I'm gonna have to go because I yeah. have to leave in a few minutes, but I just but can't pull myself away. It's hard, huh? So nice. You've, got, you've just created a new addict. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another thing. Well, you lulled Rocky to sleep, so I'm gonna go put him in his bed. <laughs> All right, where are we? It's hard to tell when you're doing such subtle differences. It's hard to tell where you've been. Uh -huh. It takes a while, and then where you've been starts drawing and it gets darker. Yeah, I don't know that feeling. Mm. A lot less complicated ways we could do this but you know what most of my stuff is way less complicated so why not have a few that why not? are complicated like a beginner down the advanced road yeah well i think any a lot of this is just tedious stuff so mm. it's not necessarily that it's difficult but it's just takes a little more time maybe mm. Patience with yourself. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I thought I completely painted over where her arm was supposed to be. But I didn't. How long has this been so far? I don't even know. A long know. time. It's almost oh, well. three. So we couldn't. <laughs> This will be by far my longest tutorial, but you know what? You can come back to it whenever. Whenevs. Okay, I'm going to push some of that color back down here. Okay, now I'm going to get to her skin tone, which I'm kind of scared about. You can do it. <laughs> All right. Gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, the oh, we gotta have faith. I really like the warmness, the warmth of your um, thingy poo. Thanks. I only, I only did it because you you told me after you'd already done yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look. Her skin tone, which I'm actually going to, because I did my lavenders aren't as warm as yours, mm -hmm. I'm going to stick to these tones oh, down really here. That's a really good idea. Um, which sure. are actually... Do you zoom in a little bit? So we've got the same dark brown, purpley color, and it lightens up a bit, gets a little yellow. It's still a little warm. And then there's a mauve here. It's a little ivory. It's basically the same as the sky. And then this peachy color. Okay, so. And that says, Amy, burnt sienna with lots of white. Burnt sienna with lots of white. What? For what? Skin tone? I do have, actually. Um, here's what I've got. I've got raw Peanut sienna. Butter? Oh. And I've got... Yeah, know. skin tone. Okay. Um, I don't want to lose all the warmth of her skin here. Well, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you, that, everybody. Yeah, you wanna, Thanks for being here. You wanna Thank show you. Eric? Awesome. Oh, I suppose. Oh, I like the hair. Oh, thanks. Bye, oh. Eric. You don't leave. We're gonna do the skin. Goodbye. <laughs> Still. Well, I am gutted that I couldn't stay here a bit longer. Hey, but when you're done, oh. you need to show us the cape and everything on there. I'm yeah. Excited to see it. <laughs> Full show. Thanks All right. For thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Bye, Eric. Well, I'm excited to see your end product. You too. I'll, I'll show his photo on Facebook later. All right, sweet. So make sure you stop by. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for ya. having me. Bye. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. Been super awesome. Okay, now. Right. Now you can have your elbow space. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to see how close these are to some of my... What's up? You missing something? Should I come out under your desk? Actually, I'm going to steal yours you because... Um, sure. This color is pretty close to the putty color that Eric developed. And patented it so. And patented. So, let's start with her legs. I'm going to grab. Um, you can take it off my face. So. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want. That's what we can see. All right. So you have to give the people it's what they want, Amy. Give the people what they want. I See, this that. is how we treat all our guests. We make them crawl under <laughs> desks. Yes. Grovel at our feet. Okay, if they want so to leave. I've, I've oh. got this little pointed I made it. You did it. Oh, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later. And I'm, Bye. I'll check in on the thread. All right. See ya. See you guys. Once it darkens. So maybe I should use the lighter ones. Because once it darkens... All right, so I'm taking Eric's light putty color, <laughs> silly putty color, which is magenta and white and a little bit of yellow. So now I'm going to um, remember how we have, we've got that brown color in the white. I'm, we're not going to do tons of detail. We're just going to, you know, put a little color. So let's pull that through for now. We're gonna pull it through her leg. There. I still got. Right now, I'm just kind of gonna do shapes, and then I'll blend it together. I'm gonna bring that at the top of her thigh there. Kind of bring it down a little bit. 
and her heel, the top it starts to round off her heel there, the balls of her feet at the bottom, it's going to pull up the back of her leg over there also, although this one stays a lot darker there, a little bit on her foot on that side, under her foot. that into the darker color that we laid down before, just slightly. I'm going to grab some of the original, is this it? The sky color. And we don't want a ton of this. Actually, might kind of mix it on my paper right there. Huh. It's getting dry. Highlight the top of her heel, blend it in to that putty color. Pull it in and blend it in the other parts. Okay, now I'm going to grab my yellow ochre, actually. Just squeeze it right in there. And it's quite yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of red to it. Where's my red? Just put it to the side and then I can blend them together a little bit. Okay, so I've got yellow ochre here. I'm going to mix it with a little red. It'll give us an orangey color, right? An orangey flesh tone. Let's see how we're doing there. We're getting some good color for up there, but we want to keep it a little bit warmer down below. Although we have that warmth. I'm just going to go for it right now and see. Put it in the behind her leg right there, pull it into the putty-ish hue that we just had, and then I'm going to kind of try to make that darker line disappear that we added in the beginning. Bring that up into her thigh, under her dress, bring it down. Where are we looking? So let me mix up some more of that color. I wonder if I could zoom in on yours now that it's just you, or if that would end up just destroying it. Um, I don't know. It's probably fine. Okay, let's... I'm going to mix up some more of that fleshy tone there. And then I'm going to mix up some more of that same thing and the one next to it. But I'm going to add a little bit of blue. So where's my blue? I had some over here, right? And this will kind of gray down that color, but it will give me that gray tone, hopefully, that I need. See how muddy <laughs> looks so ugly right now? But actually, that is not where I want that to be. That's way... That is not the color I want at all. I want way more blue of a color. I need to change the battery again. Okay. Well, I'm just playing with the paint right now, colors. Okay, let's do it. Let's not use that little concoction at the moment. 
why don't I take a little bit of blue here. I'm going to mix that with that white concoction that we had in the beginning. Hey, and I'm going to put a teeny bit of red in there. There we go. That's more of the gray color than I want. Oh, that's not very well mixed up. That's, that's not the color I want. There we go. That's the color I want. Just a little bit of that color though. Oh, they can't see. I won't start. Okay. So I've just mixed up. It's a little, it's blue and white and a little tiny bit of red. It gives us this <coughs> kind of grayish blue color right there. So, so we're going to use it to warm up a few spots. Do you see Eric's keys over there somewhere? Uh, I've lost my keys. I don't. <laughs> see, this is how we keep them here. Where have you been? You just came right in here, didn't you? Have you <laughs> seen my keys? All right, I'll find them, I'm sure. You might be still be in the, in the truck, truck, to be very fair. All right. Carry on. I could do it. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more red in there in a sec, but just emphasizing some of the shadows here with both this blue color and then the orangey color. This one I want to. Let's see. Where's that fleshy? Ah! I feel like I need more of the purpley color right now. More of this mauve. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. I'm going to put some of this over, blending it into some of the orange colors that I just laid down. Emphasize, I'm trying to emphasize the shadows right now. colors through. That's really dark over there. Huh? Brighten it up with some of that sky white that we used again. Some of those highlights back right here in the curve of her calf. And pulling it through right there on the side that kind of comes up. pretty bright. That's a pretty bright highlight right there. Not that bright. <laughs> This is our ploy to get Eric to come finish the video. <laughs> no, he can't find his keys for real. Oh, really? They gotta be here somewhere, I think. For reals, easy, can Oh, no. 
gonna put some more of that mob over here. situation. So I'm putting some more orange tones through it. Hmm. I haven't been dipped into a cup. I think it's a paintbrush. Under this plate maybe. I don't want any of those tones quite so dark. Where's my bluey gray color? Where'd it go? Oh, that's cool. It's Cuba tone sticking to the way there. Like that would have put it down. I'm going to emphasize some of my shadows with that blue gray color again. Crazy thing is this studio is so clean, yeah. and yet uh -huh. you can't see. There's no way you could misplace something. Hey, you know. <laughs> hey, that is not a criticism. Oh, I didn't feel it at all. It was a direct slam. <laughs> We're combining Nate's office with my studio, so it's a little crowded sometimes. This is this is where the magic happens. I'm a dollar. Oh, that's as good. So when you're doing the skin cones, you don't sting skin cones. Skin tones. Yeah, Sharon says that Rocky has taken off in the truck, so... <laughs> I knew he was being a little too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm putting a little red under there to emphasize the shadow. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Same with under her thigh, a little, hmm. a little more. Have we got the palette on top of this painting there that's dry? Yes, I'm sorry. It was already dry. <gasps> oh! That was a scary noise. Do you put the paint on my canvas? I did. I'm sorry. You're forgiven. Thank you. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. adding a little purple to that gray. All right. I'll I do Put it over here. So I'm really wanting the skin tone to be harmonious with the lavender. So. Because the skin tone is so warm, I'm going to be adding some really beautiful blues and purples into the skin tone. Trying to, anyway. <laughs> So I've got to be thinking like, okay, what colors are going to go well with the purple? Add a little red. try something really fast. I'm going to put just some really dark purple right there in the shadows. That's awesome. There we go. All is well. They were just hidden. Yeah. Somebody hid them in my coat pocket. Messed up, huh? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So I'm actually also... 
kind of fixing some few proportions that seemed a little off in the calf. Came down a little further. Okay. So emphasizing the shadows with some deeper purple. Oh, the front door will just be open. That's fine. By the way, you scared people, and it's dark and scary and quiet at their houses because it's nighttime where they are. <coughs> oh. So way to go! You've given Dean nightmares. My <laughs> many sincerest apologies, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> There's any way I can help you? Okay. So I was chewing out this idea at first of really like emphasizing shadows with purple, and I decided I wasn't going to. Then I just decided that I'm going to again. So, there. <laughs> so how are... I feel like the proportions are still a little bit strange. Let me stand up a little. Don't... Do you don't need to film that? Let's see. <laughs> okay, so... Her, I think... Maybe her knee is a little too low. Oh, no, see, her calf was actually better before. Let's, let's give you your calf back. Start with some orange over there. And I'll re put some highlights in it a little later. Okay, now I'm going to go over the top of some of my. It says too purple? I did, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And Azul Turquoise. Wants to paint skin like Amy so badly. You do? That's nice. Okay. So, I... My purples are going to be the undertones. My end goal is that... Oh, that's okay. Alright. Now I'm going to put some more of the putty color, but not too much because it's kind of too muddy. Nope, that was not right. Okay, let's put the shadow under her knee right there. Move it up a little bit also. Under her thigh. Bet that tickles. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> On the side over here. And you might just come up a little further. So her Oh, this is this is kind of scary <laughs> stuff. On. What's so scary about it? Well, what is so scary about it is that, okay, maybe that's it. Her foot is not long enough either. So that shadowed part, the shaded part, should actually come more down there. Where's my purple? Okay, so I'm going to bring her feet more down a little bit, down a little further, over here, that's way too much purple. It seems to me like she's kind of wearing um, like nylons that are shimmering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, okay, this looks so weird to me. Let's emphasize her ankle a little bit right there. Is that too much? And the shadow down over here. And then those shadows will meet here. Kind of. Maybe. <laughs> 
I am, okay, I've got the top of her calf. This is not. Medina says she loved, love, loves how the lavender turned out. Really Aww. great job. Thanks. I, seriously, I completely agree. Look at that. It pops right off of the canvas at you. It's like, boom. So pretty. Kind of makes me want to go down, you know, down south of Utah County, there's all those lavender fields. Yeah, so uh, there are? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, I'm standing up Don't um, to look at her proportions a little bit because they're clearly off in her legs. So, let's see, we've got her, I think her feet are pretty good now. That's going to disappear into the trail a little bit, but this needs to be quite darker, doesn't it? So, and we're missing her ankle almost completely. Let's put, let's use a little putty color to bring her ankle back. So it goes up there, but pops out right here. After that stuff dries, can you peel it off and will it have the color from underneath it? <laughs> the putty? Uh -huh. Oh my heck. Oh my heck. Oh my heck. Okay, so, all right, hang on a second. Okay, it's starting, it's like looking like a bulge right there. So let's bring some more shadow right there, <clears throat> back. that it goes a little sh straight up. Where's our first? There we go, kind of. Let's see, where's the midline? So our hair comes here. That's where her thigh starts. Comes in. Down a little bit. The problem is that these lines are fading into each other and so it, are blending into each other so we are losing some of that definition let's darken up that line right there so it's pretty clear so it comes down curves right there and then jets out comes down so maybe the problem is it needs to come out further over here Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I was just thinking that maybe a little bit more. It's gonna get too many cooks in the kitchen any second now, though. No, it's okay. Is everyone lending their thoughts? Um, Azul thinks if the legs were bigger to see it better. Hold on a second. Um, okay, so it should come out. Yeah, here's her waist. Here's where the legs should really start over here, right? And Medina says the legs are looking great now. There. Am I going to ruin it? <laughs> okay. I know I would. This is... I cannot even really... Okay, anyway, alright. So, here's her waist. It's like there's a straight line down. There's where her thigh should start. So let's brighten that up a little bit more. Her colors.
Yeah, she might be getting a little dark. Oh, we're going to brighten it up. I'm just trying to... Don't act like that was your idea. <laughs> we could just make her dress really long and cover up her legs. <laughs> now the legs Long sleeves. Hang on, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to put some put the highlights back in there. Because, yeah, that need, definitely needed to come way out. I think... So, it should come down here more. Oh, now I'm getting to. Okay, so. Comes down. Ah, this is really hard. Okay. You can do hard things. I can. I can do hard things. I'm going to brighten it up and then put the shadows back in after. Okay, so her thigh should come right. Oh, now it's. We've lost that definition, so let's add that back in. Head straight down. I'm encouraging a bit. That's too humpy. See, okay, so here's the waist. It comes down here and then comes over here. <laughs> and then that says, just put her in a long dress. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Marina is saying she thinks that the photo the is at a strange angle, even in the photo. So it's kind of. Yeah, I, kind of, I guess it kind of is, because you lose a little bit of the perspective of the depth. Yeah. So it makes it look a little bit bowed. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Hmm. 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 Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try adding a few more colors, because I think... Do you think it's going to look weird until the white is filled in? Oh, yeah. The shading, we're not worried about the color right now. We're worried about the... Actually, that should come out over there a little bit more, too. But, okay, so it's going to... I was just wondering that, too, is if this is the kind of thing where you could maybe stop and move to a different piece for a minute, and then when you come back, you might be able to see... You know how when you focus on something for so long, mm -hmm. you get this. It's harder to see. Yeah. And that's why Medina's gonna skip the girl. Okay. some of that grayish blue back in. I just lost the definition of her ankle. I'll put some more shadows back in. Some more purple. I'm sorry, I can't give up, guys. 
I'll never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> I think Manny's about done pretending he's having a nap, though. <laughs> okay, keep I might have to go get him. Okay. He's been a good kid, though. He's just hanging out in his bed. Not the whole time, in case anybody <laughs> thinks that. Just the last little bit. I will be right back. Okay. With the kid. I know it's too thick right there, but... Part of the problem too is this is too defined right there, at the back of her knee. So let's pull some of that putty back in. Oh, that's really wet. Oopsie. The putty color. I'm gonna bring it back in, back there. Let me define her calf. Let's put some orange in. A little bit. Around the deeper shadows. Uh, so a lot of this for me is about self-correction because I do not paint people very often or skin tones or but I'd like to that's why I did this it's a good challenge which it has definitely been oh yeah. Hang on, don't leave. Yeah, that's too dark. I don't need that. Except I do want to see. Let's see some more definition of where my foot is back here. It's right there. Right? I need a new paper towel. <clears throat>
Okay, putting some orange and purples back in where I want the highlight again. I'm going to lost it. This will be easier because we're just seeing the back of her. So it should be a lot more simple. That's okay. Don't give up. Taking some of the putty color again. Brightening up some highlights. some more orangey tones in. I'm going to put them over here too. That's a bit dark. I don't want her legs to look purple. I just want them to have purple undertones. Starting to look okay. We need a, a little more dark along here. Yep, I am. You want to sit by her for a minute? Hi. Are we still doing legs? Yeah. I'm not going to give up on these. I'm sure they appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Is that a bunny? Is it a bunny? <laughs> mm, I it is. It. It can be a bunny if you want it to be a bunny, Manny. Is it a bunny? Mm, it has bunny ears. It has bunny ears? Yeah. Right oh. here? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's but sweet. Is it a bunny? Nope, it's a girl. You'll see at the end, maybe. <laughs> Manny's going to join us for a minute. Medina says, stop it, Amy. It looks good now. Ah! <laughs> I just need a little more depth on the side. I'm, oh, Manny, don't bump me, buddy. No touchy. Okay. What do you think? Good. Good? I want to paint with me sometime. You want to paint with me sometime? Yeah. I would love that so much. You sweetheart.
I, I like painting. You do? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like painting with a paintbrush. You do? Yeah. Fun. I am trying to figure out how to paint skin. <laughs> what are you doing? Sitting by you. I'm missing. Yeah, you are, huh? I love it. I almost done. Nope. <laughs> are, are you? Um, we would hope so, huh? But you are. Oh, I know what we're missing. What? It's her ankle, right there. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's just leave it there for now. And we will go up to the arms. Let's see how that goes. All right. <laughs> Should we have Manny finish the legs? That's that's Dean's idea. <laughs> yes, Manny, you want to finish the legs? No. No, Mom. But I want to paint with you sometime. We're going to paint sometime, bud. Okay. Okay. I want to paint with Mom sometime. Yeah, that would be great. Do you want to go color? Let's go find you some crayons, okay? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right. So, all right. Anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna work on the legs a little bit more later, but maybe when we have a little more detail at the bottom, it will help with that. Okay. Anyway, all right. Her arms. I need a paper towel. I'm going to, there's not as, I don't think these will be as complicated. So I'm taking that orange hue and I'm going to put it throughout the arms a little bit in the shadows and then we'll brighten it up with some of that pinkish yellow color. I'm brightening up some yellow ochre right now. Yeah, I like that. To put in set her arm. Emphasize the glow of the sun. Dean's out. It's late there, he says. Bye, Dean. Bye. Thanks for coming. Check back in the morning. See what we've got. See if we're still going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be here for a few days. Just kidding. We might need to throw some commercial bricks in here somewhere <laughs> if we're going to keep going this long. I know. Okay. I'm not, I'm honestly not going to worry about the detail of her hands. I mean, for reals though, you've been sitting there for four hours. Do you need to stand up for a second? My butt kind of hurts, but... I don't have my seat cushion that Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna put some shadows in with this orangey color. <laughs> Sharon says you can take a potty break <laughs> while I while I make some jokes. I should have. I mean, with all the water that I drank. Anyway, I'm sure that's what everyone wants to talk about right now. Is <laughs> my toileting needs. Hey, people on YouTube, 
are not real people. They don't have normal people needs. <laughs> yes, I do not have needs. Okay. So I might add a little of that yellow down here. Just to help those colors unite a little bit. Especially since I don't have... Maybe a little yellowy white would be good. Anyway. <laughs> Another time. Okay. This is actually looking pretty good. Why couldn't have the legs been that easy, huh? One more. Maybe it's because we didn't put the dark in the bottom. Maybe it would have been a lot easier. Anyway. Where? So we detail of her wrist right there, her hand, I'm going to put some of this pink putty color, actually I'll do the, the lighter one. Sharon says you're going to need to build the layers on that hair to make it red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Too bad we can't get people's voices in here, you know? I know. Some cool. of these cool people in the chat room. Yeah, that would be really fun. I'd love that. Okay. Man, so, I'm just hoping the arms are easier. They seem easier. Well, they're in a shirt, right? What? Is that a shirt? Or is it just yellow because of the... Are those not shirt sleeves? No, they're her arms. Oh, the coloring on here makes it look yellow. Is it the lighting or? It's the sun glow. Oh. So her her legs are actually they these cool colors, and her arms are these warm colors because the sun is shining on her. But on her arms, but. Um, her bottom half is being shaded by the, the lavender. So there's a little bit more complexity. I'm going to add some red in there a little bit to my orangey. Don't want it too orange. I'm almost done, just adding some orange shadows. In her hand. Got some yellow ochre. So I'm just adding some accents of color with the yellow ochre. And then I think I need to, I'll put some down here too, to help with that glow. Okay. Almost done with the skin right now. Just going to brighten it up a little bit. With some of that original, actually. I'll just mix that yellow ochre up with some white. There's a little more detail. We, can, we don't have to put tons of detail, but let's emphasize where her hand is right there. finger. Okay. Just 
trying to make the skin a little tiny bit more harmonious. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's call that skin good for now. And then we're actually going to keep that same color on our brush. It's kind of the, it's the lightened yellow ochre. It's kind of a peachy color. And let's put some detail in her dress. So I'm going to add kind of a triangular, sh triangular shape here. It will help emphasize some of the folds. And I'll kind of put those throughout a little bit. Just very thin and small, really. I'm going to mix some of that with a teeny bit of um, the magenta color, just a teeny tiny bit. Lay down a little more shadow in there. Okay, so how did I do that? I need to mix some more. I've got white, white color. Some yellow ochre. And I'm going to mix that with a little bit of magenta over here. You don't want to make these too dark. A little shading goes a long way when you're dealing with white or really light colors. A little darker magenta here. See, um, I'm adding a little too much now, so. Let's see, I'm gonna come up. A lot of this is going to be covered with her hair, so I'm not going to be worried too much about it. Just put some shadows in. Maybe a little more yellow. It needs to be yellow. And then I'll kind of come up with, go back over there with my. Okay, I'm going to scrape some yellow up here in the, her dress. Just scraping it. Or rubbing it. If it gets too light like that did, I'll just pull some of that color back in. Fade it all into it. So that got a little bit too bright, so, or too dark. So I'm just going to, I guess I should wipe that off first. Brighten it back up with that white color of ours. Shadow over here, just a tiny bit of magenta again. Wow, I walk away for a few minutes and come back, and <laughs> it's so different. Awesome. Thanks. Put a little. I'm using magenta to actually put into her skin just a tiny bit and a little bit into her dress. So let's put it in her elbow crease right there. Just drag it a few places. I want a little shadow, just a tiny bit. Don't worry, I know everyone's scared <laughs> that I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the legs. Hey, and if I do, we'll fix it. Alright, let's leave that like that. Now, do I get that magenta? Let's put it back just a teeny bit here. Teeny bit here. Maybe a little more coming up off the bottom. I'm going to put a little more and then I'll rub some of that white back over it, but we'll get that under 
they are pretty nice and purple okay so now I went back and I grabbed some white before it dried and I'm just blending that in into my yellows and light colors and such kind of emphasize her waistline there a bit of her dress We don't have to be too precise about this because, you know. Okay, I'm going to put um, some lines going back and forth right there. That same mauve white color. How are we looking? Okay? I think it's looking cool. Okay. A little bit up at the shoulder. Maybe a little tiny bit in her arms. Okay. Now. Oh, well, you'll never know who just joined us. Why? Well, well, I guess you will know. You'd never guess, is what I was really going to say. Michael Yoringa? <laughs> Not this time. Who was it? It's Mr. Otter Art Studio. Hi, Mr. Otter. <laughs> is that McCall I see? Hi. Or that's here? So for those who don't know, I've, we've got another channel, Mr. Otter, and McCall, or M. Spain is my partner, and it sounds like she just tuned in. So hi, McCall. We're actually going to, we were going to do a live stream at the end of the month. So, okay. I'm going to put a little more shadow here on her hand. Okay, so... Now I think let's start with her oh, hair. But she said the lavender looks great. Anyway. <gasps> Who does? M. Spain? Mm -hmm, Mr. Otter? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Now let's let's get our liner brush, our little tiny one. Let's just put a little detail in her hair. We're not gonna we're not gonna put tons of detail in her hair. Sorry, wait, did you just say that you two are going to do a live stream together we were yeah that will be awesome yeah It'll be really cool so cool okay so um let's put some of those orangey and gold tones in her hair so um i should have probably let's take that where did it go actually you know what let's just keep that Okay, so I've got my yellow ochre. Let's mix it with some more red. Who was saying we needed to put some red tones in? I think that was Sharon. This is how we're going to do it. But we want it to look a little bit more yellow than that. So. That might be a little too. Okay, so we mixed some yellow ochre with some red. Got this orangish type hue and let's just we paint very delicately with the very tip some lines going through her hair and it kind of brightens up at the end they squiggle see that how's that look yeah that is cool and then leave her We'll just focus on her hair that we already have right now, painted. Let me get a lot of that down just a little bit. So do that, a bunch of strands, various places. It gets kind of brighter along the edges over there. So we're going to use this color for starters and then we'll brighten it up in a minute. It's going to come. 
comes down like this, which is pretty. You can make some thicker, pressing your down your brush down on the canvas a little bit. going to maybe I should wait for that wait for it sorry okay now I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to brighten that up but some cadmium yellow oops that's white where's my yellow can you see it anywhere oh there it is okay so on the canvas. <laughs> okay. Can we get, oh, that was a lot of yellow. Let's brighten that orange up with some yellow. Not tons, but enough just to give it a nice little glow. So I've just put a little on the tip of my brush and I'm dragging it through the yellow that I already used. And let's do the same thing that we did with the no oh, hi. It's looking kind of yellowy. I don't want tons. She's still got pretty dark hair. This will just help emphasize the highlights and the golden glow of the sun. over here a little bit. Now I'm going, going to put in a little more detail on in her hair or I'm going to put more strands of her hair around the edges and that's something I love about this painting is the wild and the wildness of the curls. So I'm going to lightly take my liner brush and I'm going to add soft delicate curls with that same brown tint that we made in the beginning that was made of the burnt umber and the red and the blue. So I'm going to bring those, just a bunch of those, out from her hair line. Oh, that does cool things for it. Yeah. Okay, so just do those all over as many as you want. Some may be thicker and some may be thinner if you want to. If you want to thin down your paint just a, just a bit, it might help you get a little bit of finer detail with that hair. But seriously, just a tiny bit. I'm just trying something. Okay. I trust you. Mm -hmm. I can tell. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm 
it. That's just getting your hand up. Maybe it's okay. Let's try it. Well, that definitely looks very different from that angle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's the greatest angle, but... You water down. You could also bring in some of that the golden glows into the new strands that you're doing too if you want. But I'm mainly going to focus on the darker ones. Now, th these strands of hair are kind of like tree branches where they are thicker at the base and then they taper off really thin by the end. It's probably because you get less and less hair the longer you go. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> we just get less and less hair the longer we go. <laughs> Oopsie. Sorry, I'm kind of shaking things. A few lines back in. One thing that won't help with the wildest wildness of her hair is to do what I've been doing, and that's like not cross any of your lines. So I'm going to oh, lines of her hair, I should say. So I'm going to go through and carefully. Just cross some of those hairs. <laughs> Even if it's very light. So I don't want to lose the definition of the beautiful curls that I've just done. But I also don't want to make it look too manicured and This is, she's very natural here. Her hair is very natural. All right, don't be afraid to take her hair out into the lavender a little bit.
see. We're almost done, everyone. Don't worry. It work. It's not working. It's, okay. it's just a weird angle. Sorry, this is what happens when it becomes a five hour plus video. <laughs> and I start playing with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours, three hours max. That's right. That'll teach him. <laughs> I can't believe he believed that. such different color. Does it? Yeah. It really Oh, it's really upside down. It I know, that's what I said. Oh. I it's a weird it. angle from right there. such a much better camera. It's pretty. Okay. I know that needs to be brighter right there, but I'm just going to put up some undertones right now. Okay, I'm gonna brighten her hair up just a little bit and then we will call it done. Dunzo McFunzo. That's what I was gonna say. I know. But you beat me to it. This is just yellow ochre and white. <coughs> um, yeah, man, that's a liner brush, I believe. Yeah, it's a liner brush, sorry. Sharon says, nope, you have to put the shadow next to her legs. What? Oh, down here. Oh, man. Yeah, does need to add more shit. Anyway. Um, where am I? And Cindy says she missed the legs, and so she'll come back and see it later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the legs. I'm just putting some straight yellow ochre in right now. It does have a little more red undertone, so actually, this is, we're kind of losing the copperiness of it. Let's put some red back in. So I'm going to mix some red with the yellow ochre again. 
drag it. No, it's a suitcase, it's... isn't it? Oh, the suitcase! I just said we're done. We haven't even done the suitcase in the path yet. Well, that really genuinely shouldn't take too long. Okay. And it disappears. I need some highlights. Over here. So I'm using the putty color. Remember the magenta and a little bit of yellow. So that's what that color is. I think it brightens it up kind of nice. Her hair. Too bright over there. What are you doing up there? Just trying. <laughs> trying to mess up your lighting. Alright. Let's call her hair good for now. And then we will do the ground down oh, here. It froze. Uh-oh. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, man. I'm tired. Okay. So, we're going to keep the ground pretty simple. Let's take our pointed round brush. And then we're going to grab... some of the original white color. Well, no, let's use the putty color. And let's fill in, just swiping side to side around her. <laughs> okay, so swiping side to side. I just got the paintbrush wet, a little tiny liner brush, and I'm getting the sides off, but I might actually probably add a little tiny bit after it's dried the shadow back. So, um, this is going to end up being pretty dark, but we're going to start out with some lighter tones for the ground, side to side, up into what we've already laid down. to side. Okay, oops. Oh, there's a cord there now. Sorry. It's okay. I'll move it. <laughs> and then let's take let's take a little bit of the olive green that we had in the beginning. We'll put we're just gonna swipe stuff around side to side using the same So there's a little bit of green 
in the path. We're going to get that right now. Now grab some of that brown color from the beginning, you know, that we did our hair with and stuff. And we're just going to swipe that side to side right now. And we're pulling the colors into the, the lavender plants alongside it. We're keeping our strokes fairly delicate, so... Um, oops, that was not delicate. Anyway, there's a lot more. I'm going to add that shadow in back there. Okay. So Did just, you know that there's several people who have been here the entire time? That is amazing. Thank you for sticking it out with me, everybody. That is seriously humbling, honestly. Okay, we're gonna put. McManette has been here the whole time. Oh, okay. Medina. Cindy's been here pretty close the whole time, too, I think. Thank you, everyone. And Sharon has been here most of the time. So cool. There's this. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you, everyone. There's not a huge shadow under her foot, but there's a little tiny one. So, let's just. Oh, it's really dark. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. I don't want it that dark. And then this out here has a little more shadow of her foot. And then actually it kind of just blends into the background a little. Alrighty. Actually wanting to put all the colors that I've used in the painting in the path that she's on right now. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Let's take now one of our, let's take some yellow ochre. Just a teeny bit. Swipe that back and forth also. Alex Juliet just is with us from Scotland. Oh, That's hi. cool. We're going to keep this one really simple. Let's take a little bit of the white from the beginning. And I'm going to mix it with the yellow ochre. Just a little bit. I want it pretty Bye, bright. Rhea. It's been fun. Bye. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the liner brush again for this. Where did my color go? Right here. Right. You missing something? No, oh, got it. I'm just gonna do lines back and forth with this. Well, that has red in it. Well, that I definitely gives it a lot more perspective when you put the ground in, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, there's more of a shadow right there. I'll do that in a minute. Yellow ochre. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Baby's awake. It's been awake for a while. That means it is time to be done.
Okay, again, I mean, you can get more detailed if you want, but I'm just going to do little swipes along. So I'm just looking for the illusion of it right now. Of the path. I think it's kind of more broad. So if I pull some of the, sh the brighter stripes into the darker ones. It'll help with the blending and the contrast of the path into the lavenders. Like that. Just watered it down just a little bit. I thinned it. done with that part. Okay, wait. Let's just make that a little brighter right there. Oh, I know. Where's that blue color? Is there any left? I'll just do a tiny bit of that under her dress by her leg. What blue color is that? And that's like the gray blue color we made when we were trying to figure out the colors of for her skin tone of her legs. Okay. So I feel pretty good about that path right now. I'm going to add one more little shadow on the path. Um let's get Ooh. Let's get some purple right here. We're just going to drag it out going back and forth right there. We'll do that under her foot a little bit. Ah, it's so wet. Why is it so wet? Don't be so wet. Okay. Liquid paint. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little over here too. Purple on her foot. Okay, so we're going to bring that out a little bit. Actually, let's go the, this way so that we don't. Is that looking? Okay, and then we'll just put a little bit of that darker brown. Just a tiny bit. A few stripes and swipes. Okay, now let's paint her suitcase. Where's that blue that I had before? Here it is. Let's grab the liner, the angled brush. I think that's not angled. Actually, we'll just use this this um, pointed round brush. Okay, so let's just start. I'm going to keep this really simple. Um, let's get some of our ultramarine blue, and we're going to mix it with a tiny, tiny bit of purple just to help these colors be flow and be harmonized. Okay, so I've mixed that up, ultramarine blue, a little bit of the violet purple color, and then, then we're going to, oh, I, let's do a little more purple than that. Okay, so. Then we'll put some orange down, I think. All right, paint in the, this side of her suitcase. That's what we're gonna do right now. slanted out so I'm actually going to bring that line out around there a little bit oh maybe a little too far that's okay okay so this will be dark down here too I 
Now I'm going to color, color, paint the rest in, but keep it really sparsely painted, just dragging it on. Then I'm just going to grab a little bit of, so let's go the, remember the, the color that I did in the beginning? I'm going to mix the magenta, the magenta that had white in it and the lavender that had white in it. And I'm going to turn that into my highlight color. We'll see how that goes. So I'm dragging that along the top and then it curves down a little bit like that. Comes over here. And then it's pretty dark down here, so we'll leave that as it is for now. Um, it's kind of too purple for me. I like the contrast of the blue against the purple. <laughs> so let's put a little bit more blue back in. I'm just taking straight blue. And it says looking good. <laughs> <laughs> it is looking good. Wow. I didn't think you yeah. had it in yet. No, it's just, just amazing how, how life comes into it as you go through, you know? I love, oh yeah. Painting is wonderful that way. Okay. So as the suitcase curves up, there's some shadows that come in. There's a shadow cast from her ribbon, which we'll paint later. Now let's take some orange. Um, where's that orange that I mixed before? So I'll just mix it again. We've got red and red and yellow ochre and mixed with a little blue and that's okay because that's what we're about to do with it anyway okay so this will help give us the shadows we only want a little bit we don't want tons so the darkest part of the suitcase add some blue in there and then just drag the or add some orange in there and then just drag the blue into it and blend them and do that on the side also down here this is pretty connected you don't see a lot of definition this side's pretty dark blue right here which is nice so it kind of looks curvy up again we're not going to take tons of time right now to do this part but um there's not much up here it's mostly down here so put a little more blue back into it because I really don't want it to look orange at all. This is darker over here. Really dark over here. A little shadow over here. Okay. Let's take the sky color that we did in the beginning. We're going to mix that in with the blue that we just did for our highlight of the suitcase. And it's mixing some of the orange, and that's okay too. Okay, so we're just going to drag it over some of the highlighted parts of the suitcase on top, on the sides. It will help emphasize the curve of the suitcase and the edges. Just really want to brighten that up. That's too bright. That's okay. If it gets too bright, just compensate. a little bit of, a, of some light there down here a little more okay now let's put the stripe on our suitcase we're just going to same oops no 
the beginning white color let's take some of that really mix it with blue we want it mostly white i'm going to take a bunch of more white over there so we've got just a really baby blue and let's just paint a stripe Curving around. I don't want to bring too much emphasis to the detail on the suitcase. That's a really loaded brush. Um, but, ah, sorry. Just enough. That's, I need to push that off. Okay, Did I get that? let's let's bring some blue back in. Just kind of kiss the sides, drag it down, kiss the sides of the white that we just did. Oh yeah. Okay. More depth here. Just lost some of our highlights, so you can add them back in if you want. How do you make it not look like it's floating? <laughs> not well. She's got a ribbon. I'm just going to do a quick ribbon. Oh, that makes sense. I see it in the picture. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of the very light blue white and just the really light blue and drag little lines on to emphasize to. Anyway. Okay, and let's do one more thing to the suitcase, and that's let's let's make that look a little darker down there, darker blue. The stripe just kind of comes up. Okay, I'm gonna, that needs to be a little more dark down there on this bottom edge. So let's. Darken that up, maybe bring some of the orange back in. So first I'm putting this dark blue. Now I'll put a little bit more of the orange in that we did, that we made up. I do not want too much emphasis on the suitcase. Okay. A little bit more. All right, so there's your suitcase. Now, where is my liner brush? Here it is. Let's give her, I'm going to give her a magenta tie ribbon um, with some red highlights. So let's just kind of comes down from her hand to the end right there. For time's sake, I'm just going to go over the suitcase, but I do recommend that you maybe wait for yours to dry. Okay, so my darker color will be the magenta right here. So, oh, this side is actually hooked more right there, and this side's over here. But it's quite dark, isn't it? And then there's like this big loop that comes over. And over there, 
on the other side also. All right, now I'm gonna grab some red, some crimson red. Woo, that was way too much. Oh, come on, we're so close. <coughs> okay, I'll put some right on the tip, pretty loaded. And then let's drag it on the front part here. We'll leave the back pretty dark. We'll drag it on that front ribbon that connects here and it comes down here. We'll do another emphasis with red down here and then we'll do some ribbon there that connects down there. There's a little highlight on that side of the ribbon, maybe a little bit over here and there's a little bit on that loop right there. And over here. A little more magenta down here at the bottom of the ribbon where it connects. So we're just, we're not going to work on our hands much. It's just, it's the illusion of her holding it. it these lines. So I could probably spend like easily and put a little purple here to darken it. I could easily spend like another week doing this, but <laughs> I think it's time to call it quits for today. I feel good about where it is right now. And we made a commitment to people that they can come see in the morning. So yes, you can come see it in the so morning. Let's keep we gotta keep going. Yeah. It's a marathon now. It's a marathon, a painting marathon. Um, yes, yes, okay. One last thing, just one more tiny thing. Oh, that is that so wet. I'm going to put the teeniest amount of purple over here on the side of her leg. For a sh another, for a little shadow. Wow, looks good, Amy. Thanks. Medina says it's an awesome painting. What? Medina says it's an awesome painting. Aw, thanks. A seriously, a huge thank you to everyone who stuck it out with me. I know there were some hard moments, too. That... Hey, it has turned out great. Thank you. And I've loved watching the whole metamorphosis. <laughs> Put some purple back in there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, thank you, thank you. Hold on, we need to see you smile and stuff at the end here. Okay. Uh oh, baby is really like, get up here, please. Are you kidding? He's having so much fun. <laughs> Oh, I know. I need a teeny bit of purple. <laughs> Shit. I'm all done. I'm all done. But look at her leg pit. Her her knee pit. It just needs a little tiny bit of emphasis. Oops. Oh, but see, that is the camera saying, you know what? Just be done. <laughs> oh, the battery's dead. All right. That's good. Let's just say goodbye. <laughs> We just lost the other camera, so let's call this good. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I would sign it right now, but we lost that angle, so we'll just hold this up. Yeah, the other color, the other camera is so much better. It is, color. isn't it? You cannot see the color in this. It's camera. still pretty from that angle, but you don't get the like vibrant purples and lavenders. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. Don't forget to share your projects with me on Facebook. Her Art and from the Attic. Her Art from the Attic. Join me on Instagram. And if you want to adopt a painting, herartfromtheattic.com. Coming soon. <laughs>